let's get a, a next question. Right. What is the one substance that you tried that you were unhappy with the results you got from it? Oral, injectable, etc. What is the one? What? What is the one you would not do if you had the chance to do it again? I'm gonna say. I, um, I'm gonna say Tyrannibal. I got nothing from it. Maybe it's just fake. I say oh. trust alone. Listen, it could have been fake. I'm just saying yeah, that's my, yeah. my experience. I thought you meant like you, the results were horrible or you just felt like No, shit. I just got nothing. I got nothing from it. I felt like it was too mild or whatever. I didn't get shit from it. I am. Um, for me, trust alone. What's trust alone? Um, it's men. testosterone. It's, um, it's men. It's a uh, trust alone acetate. It's horrible. Fucking I've heard, I've heard about, I've heard that's dirty, but it's like crazy. <laughs> the gains you get from I've it. never, I've never tried it, but I know <laughs> people that, on paper, it looks Ooh. phenomenal and loads of people. I've known a lot of people that tried it that hate it, but I also have known a lot of people that love it. But I think I, I did it, it for a day, shit. Luke. I did it for a day within a like twenty-four hour period. I was like, something's wrong with me psychologically. <laughs> so I had to just stop. <laughs> I, honestly, I felt I felt the change. I was like, like if you take Clomid, good. Oh, it was rank. I, I, honestly, you I was like, like, you put put the tablet in your mouth, you just instantly start so, crying. I like taking crying Clomid. Yeah, but that's because you're an emotional man. No, you know because I, mean? I shoot. <laughs> I'm crazy. My fucking loads are crazy on the Clomid. So what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, actually, I don't know if it's worth the crying, though. No, no I don't cry. I just get crazy loads. No, I, I will. What am I going to do? Just, like, come on over whilst crying. I don't cry. Just, That's what I'm saying. I don't get I will be crying and shooting <laughs> a giant load over her. She's just going to be just soaking. <laughs> Of tears, I'm sure of tears and cum. She is going to be so salty. The dog is going to be. <laughs> she's going to be salty today. The dog You're like, oh, away. this sucks so bad. You just fucking shoot her like a massive load. What's wrong with that? Uh. Uh, no, nothing's wrong with that. I mean, I didn't expect you to say that. Um, well, I'm just being I'm honest. No, no, I, I didn't even know it did that. What I did is, that all I know is that it makes me feel really, really upset. Well, isn't it? I thought it was called the porn star drug for that reason. That's what porn guys take. That's probably why they look so fucking miserable. <laughs> that's like, the... you are, you're fucking a really hot woman for money. But that's probably and, why they're and, also and shooting got, huge fucking look, loads. And you got that fucking look in your face. <coughs> but then they shoot a giant fucking load. It makes everything better. <laughs> Right. I'm uh, I'm gonna go and buy some Clomid now. <laughs> I think I, I, might <laughs> I might do the same. <laughs> Don't anyway, worry. is it, I know this whole everyone listening now is gonna go and buy Clomid. Fucking um, Luke, you didn't say what's one that you uh, you don't like or you DMP. use. You tried DMP? I tried it. I did. I thought I'll it was sweat your bollocks off. I don't know. I did it. I did it. I um I was working with Justin Harris at the time. A mate of mine had some. It was Ben actually. I don't know why I had it. And he was, and I was like, should I try it? Because I'm desperately want to turn pro. Should we try it? And he was like, uh, okay, well, let's try it for like five days. Um, do two, I think it was 200 milligrams or something. It was just like, fuck all. And I, did the, it for two, and I did it for two days. And I was like, this is horrific. You're the first person I know that's, that, that tried that. I've never, I, just, I always hear about it, but I've never. Yeah, I, I just never, I gave it a little, gave it a little, little go and wouldn't do it again. I heard it burns muscle and fat. Like, there's no point. I don't know. I don't know. I looked really good. I looked really dry the second day and super flat. And then when I came off it, my water, I rebounded so bad with water. It, took, it yeah. never really, I never really got yeah. that. The water didn't come off until the last, like, literally the last hours before the show. Yeah. I've heard, I've heard stories that shit just, like, eats through you, literally. Yeah. Like you said, Fouad, like, everything. Just yeah, that's what I heard. I'm, I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I'm not. I mean, I, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it again. And at the time, I was, like, so desperate to... <laughs> to just get as peeled as possible. I was like, yeah. I just fucking I, I was in like a haze of like, I have to turn pro or I'm going to jump in front of a fucking bus. <laughs> Where's the um, I'm going to take a female question. Paige Zabadra like? says, why don't women in bodybuilding pod... Why don't women in bodybuilding podcasts or do bodybuilding podcasts or do more interviews? Uh, Mind- minus bikini girls because their podcasts are 80% boring. <laughs> um... Why don't we have more? I, I, I have females. I usually have female. I had uh, when uh, pro on my If you're ask, like, you asking mostly why they don't do podcasts, yeah. Well, yeah. The, the, you're, I don't know why you're asking a man. It's well, well I they don't because they don't want to talk I'm about joking, stuff a lot. I'm joking. But I, I get, I get, uh, boy, I think maybe J- there must J- be some women that do. Podcasts. James is right. James is right about what he said. What? Yeah. They Go don't ahead, always James. want to talk about because there's, you know, the underlying truth is that they take gear. And they don't really want to talk about it. No, they don't have to talk like, about gear. They can talk about everything else. They can talk no, about but, everything else. And no, no, you're, right, you're right, Luke. But the girls, a lot of girls that are listening are usually yeah, newer. They and they want to know, like, what did you take? How did it affect yeah. you? Did your fucking clit get humongous? Did you fucking grow yeah. a beard? Yeah. Did you get fucking, did your hair fall out? Like, but, there, but then, again, there was a lot of men who do podcasts on that specific subject. 
yeah. about about yeah. women. Yeah. Yeah, but, there, but women want to hear. hear this, women yeah. want to hear from other women that have done well, it. If they want that yeah. specific information, they can yeah. also get that from a man. I just my my opinion about why I haven't done it is I have a ninety eight percent male viewership, so it's like I just don't have the demand for it, other than like a few women that watch the show. Yeah, yeah. So, this is fair. Really I, I feel like they just say the same shit as us anyway. Like I had my friend Wendy on my one the other day. She's a pro. She's it's awesome. the same shit. Do this, do that, train, eat, fucking sleep. It's, it's to do the same shit as us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Alex Peister says, did you ever feel need the need to change something in your behavior or personality? The bigger and the more the bigger and the more you begun to stand out from other people because of your physical appearance. Uh yeah. So I guess he's basically asking, like, have you ever felt the need to change who you actually are because of our size? I'm especially you- nice to old people. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. They don't like it when you walk towards a hood. we we'll walk towards them around a hoodie. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, good morning with your hood. Yeah. Like, they don't like that. I actually, um, just the other day, for example, I was cashing out at the grocery store or some shit. And uh, I think I said, my wife was with me and I, and I looked at her and I said, Merry Christmas. And I bought her some dumb shit. And the girl behind the counter started laughing because I was like, Merry Christmas. This is all you're getting for Christmas. And then we left and, the, and my wife was like, why are you being such an idiot? Like, why are you making that girl laugh? Like, what, like, what do you, why, why do you have to be like a joker all the time? And I was like, these people are scared of me. They look at me like I'm some kind of fucking barbarian. Yeah, because you look like Ogrim from fucking World of Warcraft. <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. So <laughs> my, my point is, I'm trying to make these people yeah. feel unintimidated, yeah. right? So yeah, our fucking our my demeanor is different. If I'm trying to pe- make people feel at ease, because was, generally- was the girl hot as well? No, she wasn't. Okay, my wife okay. wasn't upset. She just like couldn't figure. Out. She's like, "Why are you always acting like an idiot?" And I was like, "Cause man, it makes people feel like less <laughs> less intimidated." Yeah, and they realize that we're just normal. You, you never just thought to say, "Well, because I am." Well, I thought too, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really no, that. no, because it's not. I wouldn't, honest to God. I never did that kind of shit before. I literally do it now, whether I'm at a restaurant or at the grocery store or like wherever I might be, I try and make the person laugh or something just to kind of settle them in yeah. and make them realize that I'm not like going to bite their fucking head off. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to use doom hammer on them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. James, you, you do any different? Yeah, or no? same, Mike. I've, got, I've got elderly neighbors and I've always, that's made me very aware of how I am around, you know, yeah. older people. And uh, you kind of set a precedent how you treat them, how you do. Like when I go, f- let's say, food shopping in the supermarket, yeah. and you've got an old till lady. I always make an effort to be really like, yep. I don't know, try and not present myself in a way that resembles how I look. More so, I try and act like a nice person. Have you, um, have you started calling them sweetheart yet? <laughs> oh, all that no. shit. All that shit. I love I it. Do. That's a mate, I right, do. sweetheart. I love it. I always I- do it. I don't do that. I feel like it, maybe it's different no, mate, over, but, but, over when, here. Too much. He, can, he can say it. He goes, oh, darling. Oh, darling, how you doing, love? Oh, darling, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. We can he do can it. He can get anyway. away with that. He can get away with that. Yeah, he does sound like he can get away with it. You can't get away with that. I can't get away with that. We've got different... Uh, yeah, no, no, we because, but it's, again, it's like Americans, when they ask women out for dates, they're like, oh, my God, you're awesome. Would you like to go for pizza? Like, if I wanted to go in there, I was like, you're awesome. Would you like to go for pizza? I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't realize that you can do an American accent. That was terrible. It was quite good. No, it, it wasn't that bad. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I thought you were like, you fucking totally threw your accent in the garbage. <laughs> well, like, you just yeah. sounded like an American guy. Uh, I can do acting. He couldn't, he couldn't do it. That's my career after, after, now, after body running. I'm going to do acting. I want you to because read. We go, make you, I want you to read a question in an American accent. No. Yeah. Just do it. Just It'll do be hard it. No, no, I'm not there. I can say very small phrases. It's not, he's better than I am. I've no, got when I'm under pressure, though. Yeah, see, <laughs> see, I've crumbled under pressure. And I'm going to say one word like a Canadian. Everyone's going to be <laughs> no, because it's like when it's like when if you try to like when people try to do British accents, they're like, "Hello, Gumdrop, how's it your like day today, Aus- Governor?" It's, it's Australian. It's fucking, it's fucking yeah. dreadful. Yeah, it's borderline yeah. Australian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, don't do it. Um, <laughs> do you think most people use genetics as an excuse because they lack the dedication to get the level that you have that you both have? Uh, uh, no, okay, not in all cases. I do think people use genetics as an excuse a lot. 
Yeah, maybe, oh, I just uh, my body just won't let me get that big, or oh, my arms will never be the your size of yours. I, I don't, or, I don't, oh yeah, I don't know. fuck yeah. yeah. Just, I don't know. I mean, I've never seen, I've never, I have seen people try really fucking hard for a long time, and and they do do everything, and they don't get huge. No, no, I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm saying, no, but they, lot, they, those people don't moan about their genetics, and they have done everything right. Yeah, yeah, but the majority of people do moan about their fucking genetics, and they haven't done shit. That's, that's my yeah. point. Yeah, that's if you've my... only been training three years and you're blaming genetics, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my I, point. I, I get people all the time for this, like messaging me saying, I eat a shit ton, but I can't grow. And then obviously it's that typical same old story. Yeah. What are you eating? They tell you what they're eating and they're eating fuck all. Yeah, and, that's yeah, right. And, and all the time, like the other day I did it and some guy was like, yeah, I like, so I have like, <laughs> it's always, I have porridge for breakfast. <laughs> all of them say I have porridge for breakfast and then I have chicken bit, and rice. Bit of porridge? And then I have meat and potato at dinner. Or something like that. It's like, oh, so three meals and one of them doesn't have any protein on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Good. Porridge. I put muesli and bananas. There's also the guys, there's also the guys that do have five or six meals. Yeah. But they're all so clean. They're not just gaining any size. They're the same fucking yeah. size they are every single year. Every single year they step on stage or just a fucking middleweight or a light heavyweight. They can't put on. Yeah. And I'm like, you're fucking eating chicken and rice all year round. Yeah. It's not going to work. You know, yesterday's podcast with Evan was awesome because was. I, I did a podcast with Evan and John, for those of you who haven't watched it yet. And Evan is known as like the super clean eater. Yeah. And part of the podcast was Evan going on about how he got to 320 pounds one year by basically fucking eating a ton of food. And I just don't think people realize that. People look at Evan like this super clean, don't eat junk food. He was eating junk as well? He was adding junk to his food. Yeah, we were talking about how much like in the off season that he gets a little bit like looser with his diet and stuff. Yeah. And I think that's the kind of thing I've been trying to push this whole time is you got to fucking put on some weight. Yeah. And Evan, the nice thing is Evan also, also related it to how easy it was to diet when he was taking in five, six, seven thousand calories, and have it. he's literally yeah. James and I have been literally talking about yeah. this for about two weeks. Non-stop. Yeah, well, most of us, most of us at this level understand that that you yeah. what, you get your metabolism up to digesting five or six thousand calories, then you only have to drop five hundred calories to see like this massive change, right? Yeah. But guys now are trying to stay shredded all year, yeah. so they're eating three thousand calories, and then they don't know why they can't fucking get lean. Yeah, it's like because you now you have to now you have to go down to like fifteen hundred to fucking yeah, have it. I think is it see to ever used like the pendulum thing. It's like you got to pull the pendulum one way to get it to swing all the way to the other. Yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, those of, those of you who haven't listened, check out the podcast because I was shocked because I've I've been an Evan fan, yeah. you know, since Evan started bodybuilding, and I always thought Evan was like the squeaky clean. What well, do you not remember the old animal videos when they'd be like doing trays and trays of chicken breast covered in mustard with all yeah. like those little potato like medallions all on his tray? I was so jealous of his cooking. And then, and then, and then he would have yeah, like yeah. do the cook, do, and then they'd do a couple of steaks, and then they'd have like and they'd just be doing this oat and protein shake with macadamia oil. Yeah, I remember that. Why with do his you white think, animal t-shirt on his fucking huge face? Why do you think Evan? I feel like Evan is like somehow sits above the rest of us i do not not like cool factor but like his, no, i get it i get it i do get it he has like this uh james is quite close friends with uh, evan yeah yeah his aura his aura is, is yeah is i've been friends with, i've been friends with evan for a long yeah. time maybe not you, you know as close as james but but he, no, just, no, you, he, he has like this energy that is just a, i don't give a fuck i'm completely confident in who i am and what i think yeah He's a man. and and it's very very like uh he's a man yeah, but we're all men. No, no, no. He has authority. He has authority. He is a classic fucking man. I, I feel that explain, he has some wait. authority. I want, I want Luke to explain what that means. He, he's stoic. Doesn't moan. Keep, he, like, he's very vocal only when asked. He won't give his opinion unless asked. Yeah. He's ve- I, reckon he's, he's, I reckon he's very stern, very fair, very kind. Yeah. If, you, if you ever cross him, you will get backhanded or slapped. Um, he's the type of guy that didn't he bad, didn't he slap somebody? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's also some guy. He's the kind of guy <laughs> that like, yeah, he's the kind of guy that if, if shit needs breaking, if something breaks home, he will fix it himself before he calls somebody else out. He fucking built. He w- and learned how to weld and welded his own power. Okay, right. time out. So and then he da- and he's like he does all of he cooks. He fucking grows all his own food. He's an old fashioned stereotypical nineteen okay. fifties man. Okay, time out. So let's take that that you just said and compare it to Cedric, who does all the same things. And Cedric also has a, as an aura about him. Yeah, but, but Cedric's not stoic. He's really, really emotional. Evan isn't. Oh, so you're saying it's yeah. the, it's the, yeah. it's the yeah. way Evan he carries. Is, Evan, Evan is completely yeah. in control of his emotions. He doesn't, nothing bothers him because he doesn't let it. 
that's kind of like yeah. me. And you get shit done. No, that's you're like not, me. You're, you're that's, not like Evan. That's like me. Break, I'm, I'm not emotional if, at all. I'm no, I know. Like, but if, you need, if, you, if, you, if something <laughs> breaks in your house, would you? You'll, I, I'd imagine you'd probably pay I'm, somebody to fix it. Luke, you know me, man. We've been, we're doing this show for fucking so four months. You pay months. somebody to fix it. I'm, not, I'm the most emotional guy you know. Yeah. And yeah, I no, pay no, no, everyone no, no, to no, fix. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying I the, can't. I can't hang a picture on the wall. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that's why when you say. Well, that's why I don't know. But when you say we're all men, no, no, no. Evan is a man. Evan's well, the man. Evan's he's the, man the fucking man. Da- Evan he's, is the man. He's who you want your dad to be. He is my. Evan, <laughs> Evan, no, 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 no. Evan Santapani is my dad. <laughs> okay, this this he, has gone way too far. I, was, I know, but he is. I, I, I was all about that. I mean, you've heard you're older than Evan Santapani. He is your dad. So how do you think? No, I, I I don't get that. When I when I talk to Evan, I feel like we have okay. a mutual m- mutual respect. He's not my dad. No, he's looking at you like you're a pussy. You've polished your forehead. You're, you're such a things. fucking wind up. I don't. It's <laughs> just lighting. I got new lighting. You dumb fuck. It's not polished. <laughs> it's your new lighting. Ooh, I'm my wife. My, my wife bought it for me for Christmas. So thank oh, you. Is right it one of those circle ones? It is actually one of those. I was gonna ones. get one. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get one because I wasn't really pink and fucked in these in these. And I look, <laughs> and all these lights. See, you could look like you, you could look like you have makeup on. I look like, yeah, and it looks like I'm abducting my fucking aliens. <laughs> um, anyway, so the point I'm trying to make is how how do okay how do more men be like that? I don't know. I think it's just the era, era we live in. He, I think he's the way he's been raised, the way he's always conducted himself. He's just I, I think in this era and this this day and age, I think it's. I mean, there's so many people in the world that don't even know what gender they are anymore. He I, doesn't succumb ahead, to anything. He doesn't succumb to anything. Zero. He's his own. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing. And that's what we all do at some point in some way. And I've never experienced him do that. Would you say that he's not influenced by really anything? Oh, no, man. Uh, one of the, you one can't of influence the, the man. One of the large, the biggest things, and I hate, I, I'm, I'm sorry if this is becoming like an Evan fucking, no. uh, <laughs> Ev, Evan fucking tribute, but. One of the things I I uh, Evan sent a party cast. One of the things I envy Evan the most about is that he just doesn't give a fuck, like zero fucks. This is what I'm gonna wear. This is what I like. This is what I don't like. I, I, I think he put a photo. I think he put a photo of himself up going to vote the other day. Yeah. He was wearing a suit and he had his vote and his ballot slip in his hand. Yeah, and nobody like, does that. Like, I was like, you're he, a fucking legend. Yeah, nobody he does goes that. To the gym, he goes to the gym and he's they're essentially slippers. Yeah, I trained oh, legs. I know, I I know the slippers you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I've trained legs with him, and he had slippers on. I was like, all right. I, I would. I because yeah. I, 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 I haven't listened to it yet. Because I'm gonna listen to. It, I've got a long drive to do on Sunday, so I'm listen to it then. Yeah. What I saw the little snippet you put on the, your Instagram earlier. Was he talking about skinny jeans? Well, this is what we were talking about. Somehow, Evan put a post up one uh, a few days ago about being yourself, about learning how to be yourself. Don't be anybody else. Just be yeah. you. Yeah. Blah blah blah. So I wanted to ask him about it. So we got into being yourself. And one of the examples we used was, he's like, I fucking hate skinny jeans. (laughs) He's like, so he started to use the example about skinny jeans and how people just wear them, even if they look like shit, just because they should wear them. And that's what society is telling them to wear. But they don't have their own fucking opinion. So he was relating that to being yourself. Like if you really like it, then wear it. If you don't really like it, don't fucking wear it just because everybody else is wearing it. Which is crazy because that's exactly who Evan is. Yeah. Evan's been wearing those same khaki cargo pants for like 10 fucking years. Has he got like Homer Simpson's wardrobe? It's, <laughs> it's, it's just all the same. It's just all khaki pants. It's it's all, like, oh. and, the, and the same t-shirt on the top. And then his it's training like, gear is like those fucking <coughs> same blue shorts with the stripe on them. The, the shirt is the same, that, that same rugby shirt with the yeah, collar. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, he's a great fucking guy. I just, I just wanted to bring it up because I think all of us could stand to be a little more like him. And I just don't know how we can achieve that. You know, it's funny because in the podcast, he's saying, don't be like anyone else. But my counterpoint to him was, I think it's healthy to see other people and see their qualities. And I think want- it depends. I think what it is, is what you're saying is he's been, all, he's, he obviously, the way he is, he's been influenced by obviously a lot. Everyone gets influenced by things. Yeah. Yeah. So he's been influenced by things that have made, and he's choose to be influenced by things that have made him the man he is today, whereas, which we consider the right things to be influenced by. Yeah. These people, we're, the other people on the other like end of the spectrum have been influenced by just absolute bullshit. And they're all yeah. influenced by the same superficial shit that's floating around in everyone's face all day. Mm. Um, and I think it's like you should take influence from things, but you should really be careful and you should kind of be a bit more wise where you take that from. 
Because yeah, well, I mean, like you're saying, if you're taking if you're taking uh, using Evan as an example, you take in, like influence from him and the way he behaves and how he is. That's a very good person to learn from. Well, that's the conclusion we came to was it's always better to, if you're going to emulate something or be influenced by something, you should be influenced by things that are going to make you a better person, not just material things like money or I want that guy's shoes or I want that guy's car or I want that guy's. But if you see somebody carry themselves in a good way and it makes you a better person, there's nothing wrong with em- trying to emulate yeah, and it that. Goes back to, it goes back to, it kind of goes full circle back to our point with bodybuilding. You know, um, we're all influenced by certain bodybuilders, hence why we're in a certain camp. The nerd bodybuilders were obviously influenced by certain trainers and coaches out there. That's why they're in their camp. Obviously, the, the pretty boy, hip hop kind of bodybuilders are influenced by those kind of people. And it changes the whole dynamic. Thing. It changes but do you think they're, do you th- I think. It changes that, things culturally, I think. I agree with you, but I think in the flashy group that we're talking about, there's probably a bunch of people in that group that don't really love bodybuilding. They just like maybe, being maybe, in that. Maybe, in that. Maybe. But all I'm saying but is, all I'm saying is, in the hardcore group, yeah. there's probably more guys that are real in the hardcore maybe, group than there are. I was in a, like these guys, they dress so well. Jamie dresses so well. Why? Why would you want to be that big if you like clothes? I can't find fucking anything I know. Nice to fit me really. I know. But I so, know. isn't it just isn't it counterintuitive to be the opposite of what looks good in clothes? He's you know what though? Off. I don't know how. You know what's crazy though? When you go find a guy that is very big, that can wear nice clothes, they pull it off really well. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen anybody like that, but like back in the day, there was a pro by the name of Mike Astadu. He turned pro in Toronto. He probably went on stage about 250 pounds, maybe 240, maybe 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 245, somewhere in there. <laughs> but when he he would dress really sharp, and it would he pull it off every fucking time. Yeah, but you look good when you wear when you wear like when you look out for day yeah. night, you look fucking sick. You do. You dress yeah, well. You dress very well, Ford. I'm smaller than I was a few years ago, though. I've never seen. I mean, James. I've never seen you like dress dress. I've seen you wear casual clothes. I've never seen you like. I mean, do you uh, have trousers not, and shirts? And it's not because I don't like it. No, no. I'm I'm just not, I've never been. In it's because I'm not. I'm not comfortable in those clothes yeah. physically. Okay, no, but, I mean, just, if but just take... if you were going to an event that called for it, where you had to wear nicer clothes, do you have them? No. I yeah, don't. but let's just let's back up for one second. Uh, James, how much do you weigh right now? 290. Okay, you're 290. And Luke, you're like 320 or no. 310. So I'm 270. That's why. Which is still not normal, obviously. But that's still but huge. You can't get fucking shits off the rack. Yeah, still, 270 pound I, I can. You, I can. Get, you can get four. You can get three and four X. I'm no, just no, no, telling you. No, no, no. I'm just telling you, you for example. Get, maybe you can get the sizes. No, 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 no. Wait a second. So yeah. for example, so like uh, ox cloth. For those of you who are listening, it's O-X-C-L-O-T. And father sons. And Fathersons, right? Oxcloth is like more legit though. Fathersons is like cool, but it's still like too tight and shitty for me. There's no, some yeah, of them yeah. aren't. Some of them are actually good. Some of them are. Oxcloth isn't it just shirts and trousers, shirts and trousers and jeans? And then yeah. Fathersons does everything. Fathersons is a bit more pretty boy. You're, the thing about Fathersons to me that I don't like is they're catering to people that lift weights, but the clothing is still made really tight. Well, they actually, they sent me a fuckload of stuff before, yeah. the, uh, before the Olympia. Which you probably cool. couldn't wear any of it. No, most of it, I can wear it well, When you're shredded, when you're shredded, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They actually, talking about the skinny jeans, they sent me, they said, well, we're going to send you the biggest jeans we have. They're straight cut, so they look good. They were fucking skinny as shit. No, man. I didn't wear them. The first time I wore them yeah. was to Aaron Singerman's house. Yeah. A nice little party, and we were dressed up. And that yeah. was the first time, I, they were the only jeans I bought with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I bought a shirt, and I was wearing a shirt, and I fucking had the skin, like drain pipes with like, but they had all the cut, they had all the, the shredded down the front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never felt like such a dick in my life. <laughs> no, Fatherson's style is not my style. It's too, it's too, it's like my style from when I was but they, 25. But what they do, well, the, one of the cool things they do do is they do like, you know, the, the like long sleeve t shirts that are ribbed? Yeah, yeah. They do those, but they're not baggy. They're actually fitted. They're really nice. So if you're going out on a casual date with the, with the missus, they're, they're really nice to wear. They're more I haven't been able to find one. I, like, I buy the 4X. I buy the 4X. Yeah, I'm not even fucking big anymore, and I don't feel like it fits me properly. They don't fit properly, but they fit, and they still... Better they still, than a garbage bag you buy off like the rack you, somewhere. Yeah, like, if you bought like, yeah. the same equivalent size from, like, Walmart or something. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Or, I'm not saying they're comparable, but it would fit you like a fucking bed sheet. It would look like a bed sheet, yeah, yeah. It would, be, it would but, be fitted on you. It would be a bit like... But that's what I like about Oxcloth is the clothing is actually, like, that's my yeah, style yeah, of, like... Shirts, really like, nice. they have tapered dress shirts and shit that, like, look like normal clothes. It would you know be what quite mean? cool if they just bought maybe some more casual stuff out, like T-shirts. And, yeah. Like, I like Oxcloth... But like I said, I'm 270. It's the only reason I can fit. When I'm 280, I can't fit. Yeah, because you like fit that. my jeans. 
Uh, I have a pair of their pants. Yeah, they fit. Yeah, they're actually pretty good. They go really yeah. big. Yeah, yeah, their pants are good. I have a but pair. They're not, of their- but again, they're not. They're not. They're not like gas jeans. They're quite baggy. They're, but they're not skinny. No, and that's what I like about their clothing. Yeah. It's in yeah. style, like with normal clothes. They're, they're not fashionable. They're just yeah. stylish. It's stylish, but it's made for bodybuilders. That's yeah, it's stylish, I like. not fashionable. I think yeah, that's right. That's right. I consider them different. But anyway, that's why you're having such a problem is because you're 300 fucking 10 pounds. Yeah, James. So I've got to get you to come out to like some kind of black black tie event. We should. I, I, I would actually love it if you and I got suits for the Olympia. That would be pretty cool. Just that would be pretty cool. I'd you like had to go to a tailor like three months in advance. Yeah, but then it wouldn't fit. Me too baggy. I know you got it. That, you have to go back for like three fittings. You go for the original one, and then you go back. And you go the, back. I actually think that's the part of Generation Nine that makes him look the like the biggest prick. Who? He's, when, in Phil Heath, you know, um, yeah. in Generation Nine, the, I think the line that killed him in that. I didn't see the first. What is that? How how did you get how did that fit? And he's like, I got a tailor, bro. And it's like, oh, don't be a dick. He just looks like such a dick. Just in that clip, the way they've edited two completely separate clips together. But he has to he has to be edit tailored. How else is it gonna fit? Oh, I know, suit? I know, but it's the way he says it, but they've they've yeah. edited it to make him look like a really arrogant prick. And I think that did that documentary didn't do no, it any, him. it didn't do any service for him, man. It fucking made him look yeah. way worse. Yeah. Um we've what do you th- absolutely no, we've asked what two questions? I'm James, sorry. James, okay, let's James, go. Let's on, go. Stop talking so much, James. Let's go rapid fire. Let's go rapid fire. Okay. Uh, who would you? Oh, I got actually a new thing. I actually want to tell you, Luke. I've had kids for all the whole week. My sorry. nieces, my nieces came to stay with me and my wife. Are you um broody? Do you want some? What? Are you brooding a little bit? Do you want some kids? I own? think so. <sighs> so we had a plumbed giant load. It's not missing that egg, mate. <laughs> So we've had them, we've had them, uh, since Sunday okay. and the first to Sunday, I was like, this is like, we got them in the car yep. and it's a six hour drive back to my house. I put yeah. on the DV- I put on the DVD player in my car. Well, they do it, what my boy does and just fucking doesn't stop talking. Well, this is the thing. They got in the car. I don't have any fucking kid DVDs in my car. So I'll get on the highway half an hour later. I'm like, I got to stop at a Best Buy, like an <laughs> electronic store to get some fucking DVDs. I can't listen to this shit. Yeah. So I stop, I get some DVDs, they shut up. The whole way home, I'm like, awesome, it's quiet, right? Right. But I'm dealing with them Sunday night. I'm like, ah, this is fucking, this is tough, man. I don't know if I can, I'm glad I don't have kids. Monday, same thing, I'm having a meltdown. I'm like, this is crazy. I cannot deal with this in my fucking house. Like, just fucking up my schedule. Tuesday, get a little better. Yesterday, we take them out. Then we go for a walk down by the, the river or whatever. And the little girl holds onto my hand and we're walking and she's holding my hand and I'm like, I think I'm getting used to this. I'm like, Fuck. <laughs> I'm like, maybe it's time. I'm like, I don't know. So I don't know what to do now. Now I'm like, maybe it's time to have kids. Yes. I mean, we've talked about the, I think, do it. I think you should do it. And we've I'll just been prepared time. that they do, they, they get to the stage when they ask nonstop stupid questions. Yeah, but I'm not, I don't know. You no, know, it's annoying. I mean, when you've heard something like, Daddy, imagine if elephants weighed the same as a feather. Just imagine that. Hey, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Where did that even come from, you fucking maniac? You've got to part with shit like that all the time. But you've, you've got to look, you've got to make it look like you're interested as well. James, what are you doing? Are you having enough kids? I ain't got none. You're not I mean, going to have you, you want to have it? I don't know. No, but I, I will. I will. But I will do it when I'm, I'll probably move to Norway when it happens. You've got a cat um, as well, though, so that, that'll do for now. Wait a minute. I don't understand. Mm. Do you have a girlfriend right now or so, a wife? Yeah, I have my my long term girlfriend. Her name is Janneke, and she's she is from Norway. Okay. And Norway's really nice, and they got a good education system for kids. So yeah. if I was going to have kids, I'd probably move from here to Norway. But how, how far is Norway from you where you are? Oh God, it's like a an hour and a half on a plane. So it's how often do you see your girlfriend? Oh, my girlfriend lives here in England. <laughs> Don't oh, worry. okay, okay, she's but here. she's from there. Yeah, she, yes, they, they live in the, the family same house sort of thing. Yeah, oh, we live here. Yeah, she's. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, so I think if I was to like decide to have kids for their future to be the best I feel it could be personally, yeah, I would probably be there because it's such a, a good climate. Um, how, old, how old are you now, James? 30. So, when do you see kids anytime? Uh, in the 35? Next... Yeah, 35? yeah, that's that's so. what I said. I'm fucking, fucking 41 now. <laughs> then you better get downstairs, go and fucking sort it out. You're late, man. Seriously, like honestly, I think you should do it. I think now's yeah. the time, yeah, tonight, yeah. tonight. They are amazing. But tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, he's going to go just smash a load of Columbia and be like, right. Yeah, I'm, re- I'm ready to go, yeah. You're right, right. Go for man. <laughs> um, 
Would you be against the reason this that question came up because of this question? Would you be against your children getting into bodybuilding with the intent of getting to the level that you are today? Today, yeah, I'm terrible. I, I, would I think I try and I, I think I personally would try and steer them elsewhere. Yeah, not because yeah. I don't think bodybuilding's good, but because I think there's so many things out there that you could be. Yeah, yeah. My um, my son is far too intelligent for bodybuilding. I've never made it out the years, but he's incredibly intelligent. Yeah, and I'd rather him do anything else. I don't think. Yeah, I feel kind of feel the same way. I don't know why I feel the same way. I love bodybuilding. I don't think there's anything wrong with bodybuilding, but I just, if I had a child, I don't think I'd want my to daughter, do My daughter, she, um, she trains for three or four days a week and it's really popular in her school when she's 15. Yeah. Um, and I think I can see, maybe not her, but like girls that she, they go to her school doing bikini within the next kind of five years. Uh, yeah. Uh, and you're okay. Like, I mean, it's quite prevalent now of 20 year old girls doing bikini. And you're okay. There's 18 year old girls. If, if Louise wanted to do bikini when she was like 21, yeah. I'd be like, okay. Because huh. well, you're an adult. You're an adult. I'm not yeah, going to say right. yeah. it's, like, it's like getting an ear piercing. Yeah. I, I, I was like, until you're 12. And, that was, and I had to like kind of compromise with my mum. It's, it's one of those things. It's like there are some things I think are not appropriate. Yeah. When you're a yeah. child or certain age. I got to take a break. I got to take a pee real quick. I'll be back. You guys talk amongst no yourselves. Worries. Amongst ourselves, Luke. Like this, is weird, yeah. Yeah, this is weird. It's, weird <laughs> it's right? just like, it's just us really being the gym earlier. We just started sat the gym earlier. We just not sat We were together for four or five hours ago. Just chatting shit. Just chatting but I think shit. Ford should go for it. So I think he's, I think he should be a dad. I personally think he's got He's really mellowing out. He's less argumentative. I feel like I've changed roles and I'm now the cunt and he's the nice guy. It's weird. I would, I I like I would agree. Man. I've watched... I would agree. I've watched your podcast. Because normally he's an cool. asshole and he's been really do, nice. He's not even do biting. You think, do you think he's ready for kids? I think he is, yeah. I think he's setting up things. I think well, he's he went from, he went from He went from fuck kids, not in that way, just like I don't want them. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. To I actually think I could have kids in four days. Well, he's got everything going on, like all the, the supplement line, you know, the podcast. It's like he's preparing, like he's building businesses and getting everything ready. Yeah. And I think, so, um, I think he should do it. He's, do you know, he's gone to smash a load of clubhead. That's what he's done. He has. He's gone to the, the cupboard, the cereal box. He's cupboard, gone to the, the secret. Behind the, cereal, behind the cereal boxes. Yeah. Or he's probably just got a cereal box full of... Full of uh, <laughs> it's just climbing. Just, just pour it out into a bowl. <laughs> Clomidos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think he's... Um, I think he should. What's he doing? I don't know. I went for a piss and I was quicker yeah, than him. Is. Okay, yeah, he might have... Have you just gone and bashed... Oh, he's... <laughs> what? Have you gone and just smashed the letter Clomid? <laughs> is it me or does it feel like we haven't talked about anything this whole podcast? We've talked about a lot. Yeah. I don't know what this is about. what happens. This is what happens every day when I'm around Luke. Luke's yeah. that kind of guy. He's talking about nothing? I just talk things. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I spend a lot of time on my own and I'm really quite... <laughs> and I, I mean, I'm not like this with a dog. Uh, and I, think, I just think... I'm, I'm, in, I'm at home alone with this brain on my own a lot. I'm like, and all this is going on in my head. So I'm, I'm probably, this is probably where my son gets it from. So when my son's like, imagine a, fe- a feather the size of an elephant. And I'm like, that's Why? it. I know where he gets it from now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's get through a couple of these. How do you both utilize injection spots and what is the maximum? Why are they all gay questions? They're not gay questions. Actually, this is an important one, I think, for a lot of people. All right. Go on then. What injection spots do you like and how much do you inject per muscle? Do you guys see all the injection tissue scarring on, your, on stage much? So basically, well, I, I, okay. Well, I'm going to speak for myself here. Um, I don't use enough to have to worry about how many sites and re- reoccurring scar tissue this and that. I've been doing it long enough for it to matter. Um, yeah. So I think I think you're in the same boat, James. You've been training longer, so you might have a different answer. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty similar, and I, I do rotate. I try to, you know, and I'll be specific: shoulders and fucking lats. Really, that's the only places because in my younger years, the only place I ever did was glutes. And to be fair, it even my glutes now, if I was to try and pin them, they would be sore. The, I, I, that's one area that I definitely don't do. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me ask, always, yeah, okay, no. let me ask you this. How much per injection would you inject? Like, what's the most I, you would inject per injection? I, would, I wouldn't put more than two mil in one, one location, my, yeah. personally. Two, two to three. Yeah. I, think, I think that might have been my issue. See, I was doing shoulders and quads. Quads? For, yeah, I do quads all the time. Yeah, a lot of people do. I don't like doing glutes. I did glutes really, really early on in my career and then I didn't like doing glutes anymore and I didn't want to do... My quads seem like the best, next best thing. Is Palumbo like, part of this big thing about the quads? I know that. I don't, under, I don't understand it. I got no issue, man. Yeah. I've, had, I've had no issues with my quads. I feel like it's the largest muscle group. 
and it's going to have the least amount of effect upon my, my lifting. Cause I tried my later on in my career, career, I started doing my lats and that's actually when I tore my lat. Oh. So I, uh, I'm always weary about where I put shit because it seems yeah. to impede the way the muscle works. I've actually recently brought a Theragun to massage the areas afterwards so it's not, it doesn't just sit there. Do you do a shot and then do the Theragun right away? Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Only for yeah. a little bit. I mean, and it's like, I've had people say, oh, you should do that. But it's, um, it doesn't feel knotted up. You don't get like that tight. Yeah. That's, yeah, right. I got you. Yeah. Um, James, just a British question. I was talking about this the other day. Did you ever get the BCG jab at school? Yeah. Did it really fucking get messy, pussy? Mine didn't. No, I was quite lucky. Oh, oh, mine was just devastating. Most people get a big scar, don't they? I didn't get that. I've, I've got a massive scar. Yeah, I didn't. I'm going to show you tomorrow. I got it. I'm I got, I, I got one here scar. for you guys. <laughs> Would you rather have the hiccups for the rest of your life or constantly feel like you have to sneeze? <laughs> That'd be I like sneezing. <laughs> I like the feeling of sneezing, though. No, sneezing you don't quite... sneeze, Wait, you but you don't actually sneeze. sneeze. You just have the feeling that you're going to sneeze. So you know when you're like, you know when you're like, that's the worst part. You know when you're like this. You know when you when you when you go. You're just like that all the time. So you're just floating around life, just good. Yeah, but have you ever? You know what it is like when you're trying to get a conversation. You're fucking hiccuping all fuck. Even if you're not talking, even if. Well, if, if, if it, how you, you're not? Are you hiccuping like once every like, like every thirty seconds, or you go? <laughs> Like no, like every th what's a normal hiccup? Every 15, 20, 30 seconds? Something I like can that. live with that more than good. <laughs> That's my life, I think. It probably, to be fair, there probably is a disorder that is hiccuping. There is one. Seconds. I have a friend. I actually have a friend who has it. And he has to yeah, take there you go. And he has to take know, pills know, to relax I, his, his, his esophagus. And disorder. They're both terrible, but I don't want to be on the cusp of sneezing the whole, my whole life. No. Yeah. I agree. That's I agree. So, you couldn't see your eyes would be constantly watering. You just feel like dog shit. Can you hiccup in? I think you'd get used to it. It's funny because I'm trying to make myself sneeze now, just to see, you know, just to feel that first part. <laughs> right, have you got just get like a little like Can a I little? Tickle, um... a, uh... <coughs> okay, I got another. One. I got another. One I was going to say pull one of your hands out. But... I got. I got another. I got another one for you guys. Uh, would you rather be forced to dance every time you heard music, or be forced to sing along to any song you heard? Dance. I fucking hate singing. Fuck singing. You every it's, time you hear music, you have to dance. Every time. I dance. I dance. I dance. Anyway. Fuck. I dance. I dance. He does really? I'm not singing. Singing's awful. My voice is terrible. <laughs> okay. I think I'd probably sing. If I could, but what if you could sing? You probably can a bit because you used to be in a band. Yeah, no. It's not the same. I bet you can. I bet you're a secret singer and you can probably give us a note or two. I don't think Luke can sing for shit. Hey. Well, neither of you will ever know. So. <laughs> um, it, no, I don't know. If, I, I think if if you if you're if you're shit, you're either gonna dance along really badly or sing along really badly. I think you have to look at which one's the least embarrassing. I think singing's more embarrassing. What's yours? Yeah, I I actually think I agree with you. I mean, that. dancing. Like, imagine, you're in queue, imagine, uh, you're in queue, imagine you're in the queue at post office. Beat what? it comes on Michael Jackson, and you're on the queue going, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Yeah. Like really out of, or out of tune, awful, right? <laughs> Or that's embarrassing. Or if you just start going like, like in the queue, just like really silently dancing. People, when it's people on. think you've got to. I would actually, if that happened to me, and I saw somebody do dancing like Michael Jackson in a store, or just dancing to anything, I'd be like, "What a legend! He's a happy man." Okay, wait, wait. I if somebody was like, like singing awfully near me, uh, it's like whistling. Fuck off. Shh. What are you more likely to get punched for? That's my opinion. Singing. Like, singing. Like, it's like people exactly, whistle exactly. in public when they walk around. Someone Someone's like, you fucking idiot. And then, you know what I mean? Okay, I got, I got one nothing. for you. I got one for you. This, I, heard this, I heard this on a different podcast, but I am really curious what you think. Okay. Would you rather have to scream everything you have to say? Or would you, have to, or would you rather run really fast? You have to run really fast every time you're going somewhere. Run really fast. You have to run as yeah. fast as you can every time you're going. So if you're going to the washroom, yeah. you have to get up and sprint to the washroom. I think that I think imagine the climate. I, that, I think that imagine. Wait, I don't know, that, man. That, imagine, I, imagine, I mean, I'll be okay. so productive if okay. I needed to get shit done. I'm running anyway. I'll be But imagine, like, if you went to the bank, yeah. and you like you have to get you park your car, you have to get out of the car, you have to sprint. That's to the fine. Line. That's fine. What? So, but imagine going into the bank and be like, "Can I withdraw fucking two hundred pounds, please?" <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have sworn, but I probably may have because I'm yeah, shouting. Yeah, but that's like okay. Imagine you get the thrown out. You get okay. thrown out the bank. What about if you're at the grocery store and you have the cart and you're fucking you have to run as fast as you can? 
Yeah, but it's like miles. walking, isn't it? Just because you can walk, it doesn't mean you walk into people. So you're going to run. So you're going to sprint. Anything. You're going to sprint to the grocery store. Well, yeah, I'm not going to. Yeah, cause, yeah you have I think, to. But, but these are both odd scenarios because no, not. in one situation, the sprinting is a much better option. In the supermarket, no, I can just I can just not talk to anybody. I'd be like, I don't want to talk. Well, I'll just do. I'll just order it online. <laughs> I'm like, I've got a condition. I can't stop sprinting. I'd rather be. I'd so rather. when the guy rings the doorbell, all I've got to do is sprint to the door. Yeah, that's a good one. And I put my shopping away really quickly as well because I'll be sprinting. <laughs> you have to sprint to the door to get your groceries. You need to sprint to the fridge. And you're just, sprint, you're just sprinting around your kitchen. <laughs> if you're at the gym, you got to sprint like from one like machine to the next. Zoo. You'd just be like, a, like the way you'd move around your house is like a dog or a cat with a zoomies. Oh, your yeah, legs, cat, would, yeah. your legs would be small though. Yeah, but it wouldn't be a bodybuilder because you, because you, if you did cardio, you have to sprint the whole time. Yeah. No, I don't know if you would because when you're on the treadmill, you're on it then. That's probably the only time you have to sprint. sprint. If you're moving, you have I'm to not sprint. going anywhere. I'm st- I'm just in stationary, I'm moving anywhere. <laughs> but if I'm on the bike, you can't sprint if you sat down. So cardio might be the only time you might be able to actually chill. I don't know how that. It's a loophole. I think you found a. It's loophole. a loophole. I've just discovered a loophole. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's get on with these people's questions. So we got a few more. I have to go. I got to trade James, legs. We didn't. We didn't get your answer there. Yeah. What do you think, James? Because uh, it's again vocal, I would rather sprint because I don't like anything that's voice. You're on a podcast, mate. We... <laughs> but imagine if we did the podcast, you have to scream the podcast. Yeah, but you could just turn the volume down, which would be super weird, wouldn't it? Because you'd be imagine listening to a podcast. But it'd be a whisper, a whisper. No, no, where a somebody screaming where, whisper. Where, where yeah. you're not, you're just speaking in normal volume, and somebody's screaming, but you, the volume's the same. <laughs> it'd be really weird. <laughs> just. <laughs> all right. All right. Does why does people can't fucking write? Okay. Does the old school side tricep pose? Oh, he's trying to say Luke and it's spelled wrong. Okay. Does Luke do the old school tri- side tricep pose because he thinks it looks better, or because he's too diesel to get to the other pose? <laughs> too big, mate. Are you too yeah, big? It's to... a little bit. It's a little bit of both. Is it really? Yeah. I find him it's the same difficulty. No, because well, it, it's my lower body. When I like sit down into it, I can't yeah. hold. I can't hold my tricep. Oh, okay. I can't hold okay. the hand. But when I do it the other way, I can twist more and hold it. Mm. Okay. I still, I still haven't hit that shot properly on stage. It's one of those shots that when I look, when I post like a progress picture, I, I'm looking in the mirror when I'm doing it. Yeah, so yeah it's good. On right. stage, I fuck it up every time. It always looks awful. That's my favorite pose. I can't. I feel like I can do. Yeah, yours both. is sick. I feel like I can do the either one, and it yeah. looks like that yeah. shot and my back doll bicep are my two favorite. Yeah. I think the um, I it feels so awkward that I, I can't hit it right unless I'm watching myself do it and I can correct myself. But I yeah. think maybe that's something I'm going to have to learn. James, you have to. We'll be, we'll be drilling that. We're going to have to draw that this year. Yeah, and the rear double. And that. Uh, you guys mentioned smoking weed previously, but I'm guessing that's not regular joints. I as don't tobacco, smoke joints either. As tobacco is one to avoid, no. I don't smoke joints ever, and I don't think I have in years. I haven't smoked. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I, um, I don't smoke. I use yeah. a um, I use a vape glass pipe. Vapes, mm. ugh, the vapes we get in this country are a bit weak. To be fair, mm. if I could get them more. Oh, so you smoke more. your weed through a pipe? I use a pipe. No, it's, it's like a little. It's called a glass blunt. So it literally just looks like a little glass tube with a spiral in the middle. Yeah, you just put just weed on the end, like the end. You hit like one or two hits, it's like a little mini bong kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, or cool. just a, or just a classic bong. I haven't done it. I, I went through a, a short phase where I was doing like edibles before bed. Edibles are really, I, they're cool, but, but they kind of, um, if you, you don't know quite how strong they are, they're going to be. No, oh, they're marked with a milligram dose. Yeah, I know, but they, they're still, it's, it's still not different. measured exactly. It's, yeah, it's, I know. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. And, and, but it's I think, many, and it lasts too long. And when it's hit you, it's hit you. It's but that's why I, I was doing such a small amount. And it was before, before bed. Okay. So even if it lasts like fucking forever, yeah. I don't. Yeah, like yeah. for me, it's the same thing. But the edibles make me feel groggy the next day, and I yeah, yeah. really use weed to help me wind down. Because when I was away with the kids, I was away for like five five nights. Yeah. I didn't have any, obviously. Yeah. And my sleep was just shit. How often do you do it every night? Pretty much. Really? But it's only a very small amount. But it's just literally to keep me. You do you actually do you actually get high or you just it, calm down? It, calm down. That's what I thought. Okay. Yeah, it's like I calm down. I'm like a little bit high where I can just quiet down and have a yeah, little yeah, bit of a laugh. Yeah. But I, yeah. it's um, James, mate. I'm always just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I, gonna, it's, that's just the way I, and I've always been that way, and that's what it stops me a bit. Okay, uh, this is stupid. Uh, 
<laughs> Do it. Well, well, who would win in a fight, Prime Dorian or Prime Ronnie? Prime Dorian. Ronnie was a cop. So? He's probably fucked people up for a living. No, he, he abided the laws. He, why, do you he, think, why do you think Dorian's tough? Because I've heard things. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah I, don't think, I, I think he was a bit of a bruiser back in the day. He was from a council estate in Birmingham in the 90s. Yeah, I think he was pretty fucking hard, mate. Really? I don't know, yeah, Ronnie. I, I, Ronnie's a genetic freak. Ronnie's like, too uh, nice. Ronnie's he'll, like, nah, he'll, nah. Ronnie's, he'll, Ronnie he'll, sounds he'll, like... He won't need to be bad. I want to Ronnie, hear this. Dorian, Ronnie. Yeah, Dorian like Dorian looks like a bro, but Ronnie is accidental powerful. He'll hit you and be like, I'm sorry. Yeah, mate, it'd be and like you'll, Lenny, and you'll be Lenny, fucking Lenny. over the other side of the room. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Like, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I just think I can't I, Ron, Ronnie's too nice. He'll be like, watch yourself. Um, <laughs> yeah, watch yourself. <laughs> watch yourself. He's he's right. Can I just say something to Ronnie Common? I love Ronnie Common. The Ronnie impersonation. Tell me, is tell hard. me, tell me that he does not sound like Bugs Money. I don't know I don't if know it's Bugs, Bugs Bunny. Sounds he sounds like. different, but I think he sounds that's... like you no, know, no. When he's like in the gym, he's like, "Yeah, about it." He sounds like, yeah. like Elmer Fudd or, yeah. or Bugs. Bunny. Like he sounds like a. Yeah, but that mean that mean you set you a nasty. No, but can you imagine yeah. like Dorian? Like Dorian just because Dorian has the same like Peaky Blinders accent as well. Dorian's just fucking. Dorian, like, I think Dor- I think fucking... Dorian, Dorian. I don't know Dorian's. I think Ronnie's not aggressive enough. Yeah. And Dorian just seems. Look at Dorian's face. He looked pretty pissed off all the time. He, looked, he was always just like, I will fucking kill you. Like, yeah. don't smile for no one. Don't yeah. smile for no one. Which is probably why, I, I, I don't know, I think, I think Dorian would win now. Um, oh. <laughs> 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 Fuck it, now. We're going to leave, we're gonna leave it. A, we'll leave that one alone there. <laughs> yeah. But the, um, no, I, I, no I, I, I know I'm very biased on Dorian. Uh, you, Ronnie probably would win. But I find Dorian a bit more scary. I got a good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you fold the toilet paper or scrunch the toilet fold. paper? Both. Yeah, nice, uh, I, I just I like a little, little bit of uh, origami with it in between. I fold. You fold? He's, James, like, I fold. There's no doubt. I fold. James fold. The thing is, I fold and I look at it when I fold. Are you, are you, so do I you do. check the damage? Always. Wait a minute. Always. You look at it after you wipe your ass? So I wipe my ass and I pick it up and I go, okay, I can fold that. It's got life. Because <laughs> it, it, it could have gone all the way through. There might be a tear. <laughs> I don't want it to be a test. I want to make sure it's in good health. Oh, oh God, are you going to fucking die over here? You might. You might lose a fucking finger under it. Or I don't need I don't to know. look at the toilet paper to know I've wiped my ass. I always look. I, I look every one. I look and then I fold and then I go again. You know, it's, it also it's, is. It's shit right away. <laughs> Have you also noticed as well, your quarter turns, your, the easiest quarter turn is the side you wipe your ass. Oh, of course, because you yeah. used to turn in your fucking yeah. thing that way. Yeah. 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 Okay. And I always, I always fold. What about you, Fred? <laughs> I fold. I fold. I fold. You I scrunch it. Check. I think you I do a little bit of each. I think I, I just grab it. I think I, 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 think I just you, grab a bit and then I ball it up. Fold it with one hand. I don't put it in a ball because I'm not fucking four years old. Um, <laughs> like make it to like you, some kind of rose. Luke, don't you present it to yourself to see if it's fully? No, gone. I, I check the I check the damage when I look in the toilet and when I'm looking down on it when I flush it. So you don't check the damage. No, on the wait, right. I that's it. actually oh. actually James is right. Actually, I think about it. Mate, once the roll is now coming out clear, I have to check the, the roll's la- clear. I, I check the last damage. Like I kind of have an idea. <laughs> yeah, I think I do that. Maybe I do. I'm gonna have I to have to it. because I need to know if I'm fucking clean or not. But I just can feel that it's dry and clean. I don't need to. No, I can feel it. I, I feel I it. Crusty <laughs> ass. <laughs> I'm just like I can just. I just. I think I know enough. Now. I need I to. I need to know. I look and I need to know. Maybe, it, uh, maybe I do. I'm not sure. You I think do. it's one of those things that you forget what you've done unless you're doing it I right think now. So. I think it's, it's such a normal this, thing to do. It's so yeah, monotonous yeah, yeah. and disinteresting. I probably don't register that I do it. Yeah, but I you probably don't. Prob- I use toilet paper. I probably just go and I just <laughs> slop it into the toilet, wash my hands. <laughs> Let the dog lick it. Uh, okay. Do you guys believe in the muffin pump before training or a good, for a good pump? It's just and, the same as the cookies, isn't it? I actually yeah. don't believe in it at all. Or cookies. I actually think that your smallest meal of the day should be your pre-workout meal. That's Mine my, my philosophy. Mine usually is. Yeah. I usually uh, like stuff like is, ready but the thing is, when, I think the only time it's a good idea is when you're in a diet, you're dieting really hard, you're digesting and torching through food really yeah. quickly. That okay. pre-workout meal, you eat that an hour before you train when you're starving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, then it works. If okay, but the only, the only caveat to that point 
is when I see people do it, they're like on their way to the fucking gym eating a muffin. I'm like, oh, that's that's shit, t- no, no. that I shit's not going to digest I, by the I, time I, you go fucking no, no. train. I eat it like with my pre-workout meal like an yeah. hour before I train. Can I actually yeah. just make this point as a, as a, a PSA? Uh, because fucking I see this shit all the time in the locker room. Guys are always in the locker room drinking a shake or eating a protein bar before they're about to walk out to train. Yeah. Can we just tell everybody that you don't want to be eating before you fucking work out, right? And you don't want to be eating bum, And also you don't want to be eating fucking jelly beans backstage of a show seconds before. No, no, but just out. your training every day. You you need an uh, hour it's, gap it's, to digest it's your same, food. It's yeah. the same. It's the same yeah. thing. It's okay. like if okay. it's like if you're just about to do activity, don't just nail a Lucas aid and be like, well, I'm ready to go. So we believe muffin pump is cool if your body is in a depleted state and you need yeah, the carb. It's up. a very good way to top you up pre training. Yeah. It's when you most need those calories. But in the off season, like, um, you feel like we're no, so I full all the time. You don't need that. Yeah, no, yeah. not at all, no. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. That's what it, I, think. I, I see people doing it in the off season. It's pointless. Yeah, it is pointless because you're you fucking loaded up with all the other shit, rice and potatoes, and it yeah. doesn't make any sense. No. Um, where do you go? You know what? This is a good question. We'll finish the podcast with this one because it's a new year. This guy says, where do you see yourself by 2030? I just want to see where – I want to know what you guys think. You About can answer. We'll answer. We'll answer both. Let's go with his first. Where do you guys see yourself by twenty thirty? Shit, that's a long time. Uh, well, what Ten we years. Need, we'd be forty. Yeah, I think yeah. retired from the stage, and uh, okay. hopefully in Norway. I think with a ch- child, five year old. Okay. <laughs> what are you going to be? Uh, what are you going to be doing when you retire? Have you thought that far ahead? Oh, I haven't had a mate. Honestly, I haven't even thought. I didn't that, know what honestly. I was thirty. I didn't know when yeah, I was thirty. I, I was. I can't bullshit, and I can't say I know because I don't. When I was thirty, people would ask me that question. And I thought I would say. I think something will present itself. Yeah, I when feel the, the same. I'm very much a believer of that. Yeah. yeah, I'm a believer of that as well, Ford. Luke, where, what do you yeah. think of 10 years? Um, I want to have one sand out. You have one sand out? Is that what you said? Because well, I, I just, well, my absolute goal in bodybuilding is to win the Olympia and fuck off. I don't think that's going to happen if you win the Olympia. No, just let Eddie Hall do with worst from this man. I've got other shit that I want to do after bodybuilding. Okay, like what? Well, just other stuff. Just whatever. Just, I'm maybe yeah, going to Well, the guy's asking you 10 years. Where are you going to no, be? No, I don't, I, don't, I don't know anything specific. So let's just say I'll okay. put, I, want, I want to have one sand out. Uh, I want to own my own. The house I actually want for the rest of my life, I want to own that by then. The, 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 the end house, the proper okay. house. Okay. I'll have that. Um, I'd, I'd, like to be, I'd like to be settled down pretty properly and i'd like to have a couple of successful businesses okay uh for me by 2030 i want to have a very successful supplement company and uh that's it i just want to be focused on my supplement I want to be a, company i'm gonna be a movie star you've heard my american accent it's pretty good i think me, you and, probably James, do me and james are going into the we're going to hollywood <laughs> okay let's can you do it can you have you been doing the Geralt voice since watching the witcher oh me yeah yeah, yeah. I've only watched one episode, so I haven't quite. Yeah, but do you, do you ever go? I will be. I, I keep doing. It, I keep doing. It. Fuck. Like, oh, by the fuck. way, Luke, I, I've never watched as many cartoons in this week as I watched in my whole and fucking life. And they're all fucking amazing, aren't they? You know what the best one I watched so far, and I, I don't know if this makes me like fruity or not. Uh, Sing. I haven't seen that one. I haven't. I've never seen fucking graphics that look so real. I'm like, this could the, be a real the, fucking I think movie. The, I think the most beautiful animation ever is Moana. I never seen the, it. The, uh, the what, if you still got the girls, that's one to watch. My man. Is that the jungle one? It's kind of it's based in Polynesia. It's all out in the ocean. It's just fucking yeah. visually incredible. The best anime. I think the funniest, the one that I think you'll really enjoy, oh. is the Lego Movie. Okay, oh, that's. Brilliant. I just, so, I just, well, we it's watched, so funny. I watched Sing with the girls yesterday. Yeah. I couldn't believe the level of graphics. I'm like, <laughs> this looks like almost like it's real. Like yeah, it looks that. It looks that I was like, this is Did fucking you, crazy. When you, um, have you watched the, the, you should probably watch the Lion King remake, the newest one, where it's like photorealistic kind of I saw the thing for that. I saw it's the, not, it's not, it's nowhere near as good, but it is yeah. visually, it's incredible. Um, okay. We're going to finish the podcast off with what's your 2020, just to piss people, people off. What's your new year's resolution, James? Uh, I, haven't, I haven't got a resolution, but I'm going to, I want to get to, I'm going to win a pro show this year. Be That's your resolution? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your goal. Win a pro show. Yeah. And then do the Olympia? Yeah, 100%. Do you have a goal for the Olympia or you just want to do the Olympia and see how it is? I just want to do it. I just want to do it. I'd be flat to it. Might be, okay. Yeah. Are you going to Are you gonna try and do the Olympia if it takes points or you just want to win to get there? Uh, no, I, I want to try and get a win because I don't plan on doing loads of shows because I did five last year and I, I don't think that's best for the body. So you're going to pick Sorry. one that you feel like is an advantage just for you? 
yeah, I'll, I'll pick like a, a, a time frame where there might be a couple of shows quite close by and then I have a, a backup. Bang them all out, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do you so, think, what do you think is going to be your first show? Do you know yet or no? Uh, I think maybe Vancouver. Oh, like in July? So, um, yeah, so I'm going to probably not start okay. dying for another, I reckon not till about March time. Okay. So, yeah. Well, if you're doing Vancouver, I'm going to, because you're going to be, fly, if I go anywhere this year, you'd come with me and I'm going to come with you. Yeah, Vancouver. yeah. What are you doing, Luke? What's your plan? You still got March? Yeah, I'm or, just, sorry, May, May. Yeah, I've started May. my prep already. I mean, yeah, I've just done just over about 17 and a half weeks out. And your goals are a little bit loftier, so you want to win a no, show. I, no, mine's the same. I just want to. I want to. I want to win. I'm going to win. I'm going to win that show. Fucking going to win that show. Um, Unless I show up, I'm going to win that show. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I would be worried if old Fuad turned up. Not this new old small two hundred seventy five pounds. Yeah, well, fit old, shirt, Fuad. <laughs> old Fuad might never come back. We I, I hope you, you better fucking come back. Um, anyway, um, so I, I would um, that, and then I want to get. I'm going to say I want to get. I want to get top six in the Olympia, and I want to. I want to redeem myself. When I first did the Arnold, it was it flopped so fucking hard, and I redeemed myself so well last year. Yeah, I want to do the same with the Olympia. Yeah. So, is your goal to place top six, or is your goal just to be to show up there at your best and whatever? If happens, I am happens. my best, I'll be in the top six. You think so? I will be in. The I top agree. Top I believe so. If I'm if if I'm at my hundred percent best, I will be in the top six at the Olympia. Okay, so let's take the top six. So assuming that Phil and Kai stay out. Yep. We have Brandon, uh, Bonac. Yep. Uh, what's the guy from Moran's name again? I forgot. Hadi. 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 Yep. And then we have Dexter's probably going to retire if not. Okay, well, I've been toe-to-toe with Dexter, not at my best. And I, if I was my best, I would have beaten him then. Yeah. I, yeah. I, but then I, you, have a, you also have a one-year better Kuklo that you have to contend with. He has a one year better than me, and, and then beat, you have, and I beat and then, him at the Arnold, and then you have a, and then you have a, 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 a unknown in Cedric that could just fucking fuck people up just because and I've beaten Cedric. I'm just saying, if Cedric comes in, no, I, best. Know, I, I know, but Cedric when he when at the Arnold, he still looked very good. It wasn't a shit Cedric, yeah, yeah. And it's like, but and I was pretty. You beat close Cedric to at the Arnold, yeah. What place was what place was Cedric? Fourth. I had a call out with I had a call out with him. Holy shit! You're have you actually, not seen it? You're actually pretty good. Have you not seen it? No. Dude, I'm gonna fuck you. Right, you're a motherfucker. I'm sending you it right now. Somewhere He's going to send you the long ass video now of him and Cedric fucking about together. I'm, I mean, I've seen smashing. it. I'm fucking with them. Fucking th- I'm sending it to you anyway. I thought Cedric took second at that show. No. Yeah. Mm. Who took second? Uh, bonnet, bonnet. Um, it was uh, Bonac. And then oh, and then we, Curry. Yeah. Curry won it. But I think, I, I know it sounds really. Do you think, fucking. do you think you can beat Hardy? Uh, mm, okay. That's a if, tough one. I think if I would, I would have to say if I'm in his condition, yes. But I don't. Yeah. Think I, yeah, I don't think I can get in that condition. Well, you can. You just got to train harder. No, I don't. You I don't. I no, no, no. I, I've seen him like when he was like ten years ago when he was tiny. Yeah. He just looks the same, but just bigger now. It's like, I think if you work a little harder, you can probably get shredded. Don't. Don't. I can get harder. I can get harder, and I will get harder because I've told Chris this time. I was like, just stop fucking around with with this finding the look. Just get all my body fat off, and then get me dry as a fucking nun. I don't think you realize I'm trolling you as hard as no, I no, possibly can. I know. I know. I know. I can because I agree with you. When people say to me, "You just need to get harder," I'm like, "Yeah." I'm joking, dude. I'm not no. saying. I was saying you have to work harder just to no, piss I you agree. off. No, I agree. I do. No, I do. Of course, I fucking do. No, I think it's just That's, another. Why do you think? Why do you think? I don't think it's a work harder. I think it's another year of maturity and that as well. And Chris also knowing your body. That, I will be working harder because I. This is the yeah. first prep that James and I have ever done together. I am yeah. training. With, I, I listen. I, I'm. I'm gonna fucking crack a whip on this. Yeah, and I'm gonna ass. do the same like, with James. And like, yeah, but, yeah. but you fucking guys might fuck each other up because you're out there trying to squat no, like a million no, plates no, each. No, we're not. no, no, we're not. We're not. If you look at our training now, for it's very, very. It, it's very methodical, and we're trying to help. We're trying to bring the best. We're not trying to beat the fuck out of each other. Yeah, okay. things, that, things have changed, man. We're older okay. men. We're, We're older old men fucking men. But like, um, I like I want when James steps on stage next time. I guarantee it'll be a different bodybuilder. Yeah, and that's, that's an objective for you. both. And like, Good. and the thing is, it's, it's I'm known for things that James needs, and, yeah. and he's known for things that I need. I need his condition. He needs my size. Uh, you, who's got James? You got better legs, right? No, not better. We're different. We're not. No. My quads are pretty good, but it's because my upper you body. Guys are, good you guys are too nice to be objective. No, 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 no. Because my upper body isn't as big as Luke's, so perhaps my quads look quite. Because do- my legs are quite. Oh, dominant I see what you're saying. Feet. So your proportions are better because your upper body's not as big. <sighs> Dude, I'm, I'm, a, I'm more I, leg dominant. He's more. I body think body. as well as yeah. like I. I wasn't bottom heavy. I wasn't top heavy at the Olympia. 
and I was no, not that no. top heavy at Tampa either. No. But that's because my body was flat as shit. Yeah. But I thought you the looked top, is, I thought you looked top heavy in Tampa, but that was because you were flat. No, I didn't at Tampa. My legs looked bigger than my upper body at Tampa. In the Arnold, so? at the Arnold, my upper body was fuller. My legs were really flat in the Olympic for, at the Arnold for some reason. Is that the show I'm in, thinking in, of? And in Indy, I was soft and my whole body was full. And I, you know what I feel like is more the issue for you? It's not your quads; it's your hamstrings. Only from the back. That's what I'm saying. When you but turn again, around, I think that, but I think that's, that's my the, point. 100. percent Listen, when you turn around, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you put your you put your one leg back, right? Yeah. It's uh, there's too much of a gap there. You need to fill that adductor I inner think, head. I, I think a lot of it's the way I pose, and I think a lot of it's me having my legs too close together. No, um, I don't think that. But that's no. They look like the two. They're you're like you're saying too maybe far a little bit wider. Yeah, maybe too wider. I'm saying the. Well, hand, anyway. I'm saying your no, hamstrings no, well, I mean, need to be wider so when, this way. No, no. It's so when I spread my legs wider. Yeah. My, and my legs are in that way. My adductors pop out. Oh, okay. Whereas when I have my legs tight, when I have my legs close together and I pull my glutes in, my adductors pull under. Constantly. So you think it's a posing issue? I think it's more of a posing issue because my adductors are really big from the front. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when I don't have... But it's not, the, it's not the adductor I'm saying. It's the, you know, your hamstring has three strips to it, three, three heads yeah. to it. Yeah. That inner head, if you see it on Branch Warren, it's like a fucking, it's like this thick. Okay, and, it, yeah, yeah. and it fills in the inside of his hamstring. Well, I mean, okay, so that's what if we're going back to the training. What we've done with that is we do quads on our Tuesday. We, we start with a leg curl. We just yeah. do one. one I want to ask you something, and I don't want you to take, uh, no, no, take no. zero offense because I know yeah. you know exactly what you're doing. I just want to ask you something. Yeah. When you do your lying leg curls, do you do them with your feet close together or far apart? We do, a seat, we do seated leg curls. I know, but either or, if you're doing seated or lying, do you do um, with your feet close exactly together? What, I do exactly where my knees and hips are perfectly in line. Okay, that's not what I, that's, okay, try, just try something for me. Okay. Next time you do lying leg curls, do them with your feet this fucking far apart. I think that's pretty much what they are. Like your legs is all the way close. Okay. Because the only reason I say that, I learned that from John. Okay. John's got, his hamstrings are retarded. Yeah, they are. His legs are retarded. Yeah, but his hamstrings, like when he does them from the side, they just sit, they like fall out of his fucking. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got a lot of that. When I trained with Joe Bennett, he taught me how, I, I don't think I was training my hamstrings properly. Yeah. He, he told me to focus on seated. So when we did seated, we do a seated leg curl at one working set. Yeah. And then on a uh, do one working set. And then on a, a Thursday, we got back. That's when we do our RDLs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when we, and then we do hamstrings on um, Saturday, we don't do any RDLs because we That's just right. have the curling stuff and we do adductors as well. That's so a good we, idea. We're I... getting extra hamstring work. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like I said earlier, James wants more hamstrings. But yeah. the weird thing with me is my hamstrings are very good from the side. That's a strange thing. We talked about this before. I'm like that. And that's too. what I'm saying. It's I'm the opposite. Got... I'm the opposite of you. From the side, I have like yeah. fucking nothing, and from the back, they're thick. It's because I think it's where my adductors are big, but the way I'm posing, they're just folded under. Because when obviously from a side point of view, I just push my adductors together, my hamstrings pop out. Hmm. So, so I think it's a posing thing. Only because I was looking at some older uh, pictures from when I was an amateur, and I suppose were a lot wider. And my hamstrings look good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. interesting. So, um, okay, guys. Yeah, they, they, they're too bad though. So what are we doing? You're off for the week and you guys are both going to do the Olympia and my goal for the year is to launch a supplement company that actually people love. I want to talk to you about this. What's, so what is actually happening? Where, where are you at with it? When's the launching of the products? What's coming? March. You give us the gossip. Mate. I had Let's to go. redo everything. Why? Man, this thing is like way harder than you think, eh? It's like, no, I can imagine. I had no idea. So we thought we were ready. We had like labels and we're like, okay, we're ready. Start producing shit. And they're like, can't, they're like, what are you talking about? And we're like, well, we're ready. We already formulated the product. Just start producing it. And we'll put the, the labels together while you're producing the product. Because it takes eight to 12 weeks to produce the actual product. You put it in a <laughs> fucking bottle, right? They're like, we can't start producing anything until all the lawyers have signed off on your labels, like FDA approved, all the compliance yeah. stuff is done. Nothing can oh, be yeah. done. Especially so, when you're in Canada. That's right. So then we had to wait oh, like another month because to go th- for the lawyers to go through everything. We had to get sign-offs from all the ingredient manufacturers, like different ma- manuf- ingredients that we're using, right? Yeah. So now that's all done. So then I'm like, okay, we're done. We're ready to produce. I've been, now I've been drinking this stuff for like two months probably since we started. Since it was finished being formulated, they sent me samples mm. just for my own personal. So I've been drinking it. No word of a lie. After a couple of months, I, I look over at my wife and I go, I don't like the taste. She goes, what the fuck are you talking about? We're ready to produce. I'm like, Did she punch you in the face. Close. Very close. 
I was like, I, I just, I don't like the taste. I'm not confident. I don't like this taste. Okay, wait, wait, which product was that? Was that the pre-workout? Or the... All of them. Uh, well, no, mostly. Okay. Mo- no, no, no. That's not true, actually. I shouldn't say that. It was the pre-workout and the pump product because okay. those are both the ones that you're going to take before you train. And both, usually if you look at pre-workouts across the board, they're a little bit sweeter. They a little bit, have a little bit more of like a, I don't know how to say this. Yeah, yeah, the more sharpness. They're not as mild. Like if you yeah. if you take an essential amino or like a, intra workout like i don't want to be drinking an intra workout that's like super sweet right so it's gonna be a little bit more mild so i'm drinking it i'm like i just don't think it has the fucking punch that you want in a fucking pre-workout so i call the manufacturer i'm like look this is kind of how i feel and he's like okay well we're gonna set back another couple weeks and i said i don't care at this point i'd rather be set back two more weeks and put out something i like the taste of so they just sent me samples. We just approved them today, actually. They're all fucking awesome. Dude, we came out with this peach flavor. Yep. It's probably not going to be part of the first launch, but this fucking peach flavor is like, it's amazing. So anyway, we came out with some... I was just about to say, somebody needs to bring out a peach aminos. We got... Well, this is a peach pre-workout, but we might do a peach aminos too. But, oh. but it's going to be like a... I think it's going to be like a fuzzy peach. You know that sour peach candy? Oh, fuzzy peaches? God. Yeah, I think it's yeah, going to be like, oh, dude, it's so fucking. Anyway, everything's really, really awesome now. We just signed off on everything. Production's probably going to start on Monday. That's awesome. So we're looking at like mid mid March. Hopefully, we'll be ready <clears> to go. getting distributors on board, marketing, and all that. You're, and like, you know what, man? You know what's absolutely insane? We've had so many orders, like pre order signups already, and we've had so many distributors and stores reach out to us. And we haven't put a label out yet. We haven't put a formula out yet. We haven't put, I don't know why, but there's like, seems to be a lot of excitement about it. Because it's yours, mate. And everything you do is credible. I hope that's true. I mean, that's what I'm hoping. I just, I, I'm shocked that like, we haven't put any information out yet. People are like already like want to go. So um, I don't think we're going to start with distributors or stores for the first six months to a year. We're going to wait and see kind of how things go online. Yeah. And do direct, direct to consumer. Yeah. And if things take off, then we'll probably do distributors. I know our, our fulfillment center, like we're dealing with a fulfillment center in the U.S. that's going to ship all our products. They have a fulfillment center in the U.K. as well. Okay. So, yeah, so we might be able to ship right from our manufacturer to their facility in the U.K. Yeah, for sure. That way we won't need a distributor. that will right. ship to, to the customers in the U.K. That's so, awesome. yeah, man, it's, uh, it's exciting. And then the other, the, other, the other 2020 project is hopefully to get my fucking career back on track on the stage because there's just too many health things that held me back so so what's going on with your health now? any any changes anything dude i gotta tell you man the blood pressure thing just really took a toll on everything else like you know it's really crazy it's like i know this is going to sound really obvious when i say it but all of this shit is tied together like i know that that's such an obvious comment but you don't realize it when you're looking at your blood work you look at like your liver or your kidney or your cholesterol and you look at all these things and you don't realize they're all fucking one piece. Yeah. And if one gets fucked up for a long time, they all get fucked up for a long time. So, or they all get affected eventually. So my blood pressure was so high for so long that now I'm paying the penalty in other places. Like my cholesterol is too high and my fucking, so my doctor's like, we got to get these things back in some of the normal ranges before you ever push your weight back up to 290. 290 300 right because it's not the it's not the gear as much as it's the weight gain yeah like just being bigger is going to take more toll on my body than and so it's just a it's just a work in progress but i'm i'm focused on kind of making everything better like the podcast the supplements the the physique everything is all kind of a work in progress for this year i think i think it's um it is a new decade and i think that means in a way it is going to be like a new era for a lot of people. I think, especially yeah. for bodybuilding, I think the next 10 years of bodybuilding are going to be very interesting. I think this, I think if I have to look back at bodybuilding over the last 20 years, to 30 years, I think the years from probably 2005, and this is a knock on myself, unfortunately, but I think the years maybe from 2005 to 2015 were probably a valley and not a peak. Because I think after the 90s, we had Ronnie kind of still going through the early 2000s. We had Jay coming up. We had Kevin still in the mix. And then those guys kind of retired. Well, Jay didn't, but Ronnie and Kevin did. Yeah. I kind of think we had, even though it was still good bodybuilding, you know, we had Evan Senapani and we had Jay Cutler. And we have a lot of these bodybuilders. But I still don't think it was a 
I still think it was a valley where I think things are going to get better. Yeah. And like you said, in the next 10 years, I think after 2015, things start to get better again. So I think we're going to see a lot of crazy physiques moving forward, but I still don't think a lot of the classic guys are going to switch. Sorry, Luke. No, I, I, when I, say that, I don't think they're going to, yeah, I don't think gonna, I don't necessarily think they're going to switch, but I think the ones that are coming up into classic now are just going to carry on going. Yeah. Because they probably took a year or two off to go over from, uh, from men's physique to classic, and then they'll probably go into open. Or, think- they say in the amateur ranks, all the amateur bodybuilders that are doing classic will outgrow the classic class and go up into like the, the, the light heavies and heavies and the supers. I think, um, the, I think money is going to be part of the, the deciding factor too. Yeah. I think if the classic physique contracts get bigger, then I think more guys will do classic. And I think if they don't, then more guys will do open. I think that's going to be part of the factor. I think, like, I think the money's always going to be a bodybuilding. I think the bodybuilding is so extreme. That's where the most fans were. So that's what we want to see. If, when, you go to, when you go to a monster truck rally, which I've never been to. Wait one. a minute though. That's only, that's, that's only half true, right? If you're talking about supplement sales, yeah. I think you're probably right. Most guys are going to, most of the. I'm, what about ticket sales and interest in the shows? And I don't know if you're, I don't know if that's true. Mr. I don't think the classic Olympia is putting the same bums on seats that, that the Mr. Olympia is. Not yet, but it's getting popular really fast. Okay. And, and as far as money goes, they may not make the most money from supplement companies, but they have so many other avenues like, I know. like but Jim, like Jim shark, Jim shark and fucking all these other. I'm just talking in terms of our sport as a whole. Yeah, I think bodybuilding still has the mo- the biggest fan base outside. Like, there's a lot of people that watch MMA, like yourself, who don't actually fight. There's a lot of yeah. people that watch, but like myself and James, and likely you too, have been I've been stopped in not in the street, but out in public. Yeah, by people that don't even train that know who I am because of bodybuilding. Because then like, oh, I've seen you in the Olympia, I've seen you do this, and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was saying this to you the other day, James. It's like it's weird how there are so many fans of bodybuilding who do, and not do not participate at all on any level. I know. For- I I just think I think for the guys. I think for the guys, I think some guys are looking at this like a career and they're like, where can I make the most money? I'm sure they are, but a lot of them just want to be a fucking freak and they want to do go as far as they can. I said, you had Sergio on your show and he said the money isn't really a big deal to him. It's like the legacy he leaves is what he's more in. Who's that? Sergio Oliva. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said that, yeah. Yeah, but that's a little bit different animal. I mean, he's trying to follow some, he's trying to fill in some big shoes, man. Yeah, we might as well make a a bit of cash on the way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. I just like I said, I see things like look at like if you look at Chris Bumstead. He's 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 sponsored by like not just like gym clothing. He's got like a a boot sponsor and a watch sponsor and a fucking he's doing like mainstream. Yeah, because he's very good looking. Yeah, yeah, but that's I think it's going to happen for a lot of people in that division where it's not going to happen for people in in open body. I know, but I think but I think it's it's in like if somebody told me I can make double the money doing classic. I still would rather do bodybuilding. No, because we have a love. We have a love for what we're doing. I know, but I think the thing is as well. You can still make good money. This the prize money is still better in bodybuilding. No, no, of course, of course. So I, of I course. still think you can make a very good living. You know, you might not be able to be like a millionaire doing it. Yeah, but you can still make good, my, um, enough money for it to be a decent career. My reservation is. Guys. I want to clarify something. My reservation is not in any way to say bodybuilding is not awesome. My reservation is the the group of guys I see coming up in the world nowadays. Yeah. I just don't feel like they have that love for being a freak the way we did when we were younger. Well, the, with them, I think the reason why is because of the, the shift in social media. That's why it's up to people yeah. like us to, to show that what we do is fucking cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's in, like, and like if, there's, if there are more people like us come out, more people like us get contracts, more people like us are on YouTube and putting this kind of shit out. Yeah. We are going to, people are going to, if you build it, people will come. And I think it's the same with the kind of content we, we all inspire to put out. Uh, when, to put out. When's your YouTube page launch? Uh, filming on Monday. Actually. That's your. Is that your first video? Yeah. Well, I've already got a YouTube channel. I just don't fucking use it. I'm just so you're just gonna, but you're gonna stay on that channel. It's still gonna be yes, Luke Sandow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and uh, James, are you gonna you start a YouTube channel or you gonna have uh, one? Yeah, I probably get like no, I've got one, but I don't. Whenever I do stuff on it, it's always about like life rather than bodybuilding. It's kind of like my own personal opinion on other things. Um, yeah. But well, I will. I mean, James will be, be appearing heavily on mine. <laughs> so, yeah, and, and then I'll, 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 I will start doing more stuff on mine. But mine's always been like a bit of a personal diary more than a fucking bodybuilding channel. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, and I like it like that because it's kind of like the other side of me. So if, it's you know, if ever, yeah, if ever people want to know a little bit more about the person who's behind the bodybuilder, you know what I mean? It sounds cheesy, but well, that, maybe, that's, that's James. Maybe one day I'll get you on uh, the Real Bodybuilding Podcast so I can have an actual conversation. We can find yeah. out who James really is because today we kind of just yeah. all 
Luke talks oh, yeah, over every, Luke talks over everybody, so we can't really get a word <laughs> in. Listen, I've got a lot to say. We're talking about <laughs> this is funny funny games. This is fun games. Yeah, no, we'll have a real one where we can kind of figure out what's what's what and, and what's going yeah, on. Yeah, like I have an opinion on so many things, Fod. I remember we had you on uh, the size game many years ago. That's right. And uh, I remember me and you pretty much just spoke the whole time, and I remember being quite a uh, quite a deep conversation, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it yeah it definitely good. be up for that eventually. Um, yeah. Can we also address the Holling Shed balls as well? Did I say that today or no? I, I don't know, did he? No, you couldn't say today. Because we keep calling James the Shed now. Because a lot of, Cause of, me? The human, cause a lot of Americans shed. and Canadians say Holling Shed. Well, I think it's appropriate. I think it's, we think we should just change it to Holling Shed. I'll do that. Or I maybe we should just leave his name, but just call him the Shed. Yeah. Well, the Shed is what everyone's fucking saying now. So you can't Everyone start starts, yeah, but Everyone's going to start thinking your surname is Holling Shed because you're called the Shed. Well, I uh, see. This is the thing. You, I, I felt really bad because you made fun of me, Luke, for saying it. I make but, fun of you, but apparently, I never make fun of you for that. Apparently, I'm not the only one that thinks that. Yeah. No, no, I've had it many. No, listen, I know. At least I think, I think Pal- Palumbo called me Honing Shed as well. How many fucking people fuck up your name as well, Fred? Yeah, but his name looks like it's Holling Shit. Yes, I know, and yours looks like gibberish. Like, because <laughs> <laughs> like, my name is just really obvious. It's Sando. It's a silent Yeah, but everyone game. still gets it wrong. Everyone and still like, gets Luke it wrong. And they're like, Luke Sandow or Luke Sandu. It's like, no, it's Sando with a fucking tiny. Right. But mine, that's a relatively straightforward name. Your name for that is mental. It's a, so, bunch, of va- it's a bunch of vowels all just... Yeah, it's like, where, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, do you you know mean, do, I mean, I mean, do people just say just call you food? It's butchered so. nonstop. Yeah, I can imagine it's butchered. But I don't. But I've, it, it, the thing is, when your name is fucked up so much from a small age, yeah, you just don't give a shit. It's anymore. like you know that Esser obeyed. He's obeyed, isn't it? Yeah, I thought it was obeyed. No, it's oh, it's obeyed. I say obeyed. I it's, said obeyed. It's O B A I D. I have no and idea. Everyone calls an Abiad because of you. <laughs> Like he's, 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 he's about the same he's probably from the same ish part of the world Let's just all in. so many vowels a, hey, we haven't had any racism in a little while what's going on with you, you well that was a bit there for there was some there there was some there, there was not some really there. No, he, he, he's from the same place oh, okay. as you. he's from the same kind of place he's got similar shit name I think Luke's, Luke's, Luke's turning over a new leaf he's starting maybe getting some hate mail I, I don't get any hate mail everyone loves a little bit of subtle racism <laughs> we just pepper it in we just pepper it in like kind, it's like kind racism yeah, is there like, such a thing as kind racism? No, I mean, no, it's like saying that African men uh, who wear bright colors are generally very You know jolly. how many white guys messaged me and were angry that you said that black guys have good physiques? It's so funny that the white guys getting upset. about The, the white guys. guys are, well, what about this guy? Like, what about Gary Stridham? Somebody came to me and was like, um, said about mass monsters, and they brought up Michael Lockett. Yeah. Saying that he looks shit for a mass monster. I was like, uh, hey, he looks fucking phenomenal. He's got a tiny waist. He's not a mass monster. He's a mass monster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So does James, does James know your theory about white guys and black guys? Yeah, I think we've discussed it. Like, James, would you agree that, like, I can't remember the way we described it. Oh, yeah, now you're well, going to drag, drag James him, drag actually him, him it into We've got the 2000, the 2000, the 2006 Arnold Classic DVD playing in the gym at the moment. Yeah. And at the end... It's, so it's Branch got second, Dexter won, and James yeah. just looked up one day and was that is the difference between a white bodybuilder and a black bodybuilder. <laughs> <laughs> I did. He did. And, yeah. it, and it was meant because and it literally just those two stood next to each other summed up what I was trying to say. Yeah. I, I was like, still that's, had, that's, that's them both at their absolute peak. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it's a difference. So yeah. that's exactly what the conversation was, James. Luke was saying. I didn't say anything. He said it. And then I. Luke, and then I Luke said in our podcast that black guys had pretty physiques and white guys had rugged physiques and uh brown guys were shit or something i can't remember what he said no i said uh, brown guys are phenomenal everywhere if you had to point out a weakness you'd probably say it was their backs in general yeah even though my back is my best body part but anyway you don't you don't fall into that same category because we're talking about like fucking i'm brown don't i look brown you're you're, you're fake brown you're you're uh you're (laughs) you're like a kinder egg you're a kinder egg. You're nice and light brown on the um, outside. You crack open. There's a bit of white in the inside. I'm caramel. That's what I, yeah, okay. caramel. So um, no, you know, like anyway, a whole bunch of fucking white guys messaged me, yeah. and they were like, "Give me examples about pretty white physiques, like Gary Stridham." Yeah, I mean, yeah, and but like, yeah, yeah. obviously there's you, outliers. But but, but we actually what we actually said was when you general. push the size to the extreme. The, oh, the, you mean? Oh, I see what you're saying. So there's good white guy physiques. But not when they're pushed to their max. When they push very big, black guys' physiques don't often get shit. I don't black know very guys. many, but how many black mass monsters are there other than Ronnie? Kai. Okay, two. 
My point is uh, my point. My point is the op- but wait a minute. Okay, three. My point is my point is the opposite of wait a minute. My point is the opposite of what Luke is saying is maybe the black guys are look pretty because those guys aren't chasing the mass. Maybe, but I think but I think black okay. bodybuilders in general. I just I think. I don't even think it's really at all. It's just quite obvious within what we it's see. It's lovely insertions. What I see, they gen- generally are better. Just great. You know what you said about Phil. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. I'm just. I'm just trying to make sense of what you're making. What you're saying though, because mm-hmm. the white guys you say are good until they push to the max. When you see a white guy that has a black looking physique, and you know exactly what I'm talking about, like Derek Lunsford, for example, his front double, you're like, what the okay. fuck? That's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you saw a black guy with that physique, you'd be like, no, it's amazing. But when it's because he's white, it's a bit more like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's because it's like, not as it's often rarer. as you, yeah, I, like, you, yeah, you don't see it as often because I feel like. That's why I use Justin Compton as that example because he's got that white. He had those insertions that were so yeah. freaky round. And so bubbly you don't and typically, and like, yeah, You wouldn't typically get that on uh, the majority of white fellas. So, like, so like, are, so it's like, is Italian guy, is our Italians considered white? Um, yeah, a Caucasian. Yeah, because yeah, like Caucasian, Evan, because like Evan is Evan considered because Evan's got a rugged physique. He doesn't have. A yeah, Evan doesn't. Have Evan's a quite. Evan's just like brutey, and he's like. Yeah, brutal. Evan yeah. doesn't have a round, bubbly muscle. No. Like, round, bubbly muscle. No, he's got the white like, guy physique. Like he's not clean. He's got like a, I'm a fucking. I'm a man. Um, <laughs> I'm everyone's dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So we got a little bit of racism in. That's good. Now good, I can get. get, get uh, I'm glad I can get you, more. Uh, I can get more shitty call, shitty, um, shitty messages. We haven't had any anal talk this week either, which is a bit shit. We haven't had any anal talk. <laughs> you you refuse to talk about your relationships because I'm, I want to be a bit more private for a little while. Why? Because I was like, because we talked about so much shit last time, and then, and I'm just like, I'm just sick of it being so public. Do you want me to be? Give public? him a few weeks. Give him a few weeks. Do you want me to Give say me, something yeah. public? Go on then. I haven't had sex all week. It's driving me fucking nuts. Okay. Well, maybe I have. With who? Oh, she's, a, she's a very lovely, a very lovely lady. Did you have anal? She's a very lovely lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's so shitty. Okay. Well, good for you, man. That's awesome. It is. Is she your girlfriend or just a, a from Tinder? No, she's not from Tinder. <laughs> have you have you met anybody from Tinder yet? No, I never. No, no, I stopped that shit like eight months ago. Oh, you just deleted your. No, account? I never. Went, I never opened it again because it was shit. So I mean, where'd, 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 where'd you meet this one? I've known for, we've known each other for a very long time. Oh, it's that one. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, good. And you you did anal with her. Good for you, man. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say that but you read between the lines <laughs> all right <laughs> let's, let's go back to james all right james has a foot fetish there you go talk okay, about it james james james, loves you feet. Like, james you have a foot fetish yeah, I, like, I like nice feet I do. are you serious nice feet. yeah i like them you're the not, first not, person i've ever no, met no no well, no no because we, we somebody who else in the james was completely in agreement with you yeah I wait, like, a listen, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute feet, that's oh, wait a minute that i want to know over. okay wait a minute i have some questions this is very new to me Far so, <laughs> you're, is it like a foot fetish or you just like nice feet? Yeah, foot fetish Luke is probably consider, Luke, No, Luke, I think Luke would consider it a fetish. No, 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 I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I, I, okay, I, wait, I I'll, saying, I'll specify, I'll specify. Do you, <laughs> do, do you watch foot, do you watch feet porn? No, I don't even, okay. listen, I haven't even watched porn for fucking ages. Okay, if you were going to watch porn, would feet be involved? I need to see some leg. So yeah, there would be probably a bit of foot in there as well. <laughs> You know what? Like, the more I talk to you about it, it's, it's, it's not weird to me. I just, I'm just, the only thing I, I'm always like, like, what? I don't understand it. Listen, it's, it's not like, weird because it's, it's an actual thing. But yeah, I, I know it is. It's really, never, it's not, I, I, I don't know anybody who has it. That's all. Yeah, but, but do you personally, do you give a shit about your wife's feet? No, I could give her a fuck. Give yeah, a fuck. yeah I, I mean, care. as long as she has them. Maybe. Yeah, as long as, long as her <laughs> like doesn't have corns and bunions and shit on them, I don't really if, give a shit. If they did, I'd be like, oh, I should put socks on. <laughs> <laughs> if, they had they had corn, if, if mine had corns and bunions, it wouldn't be my girlfriend. Uh, yeah, there's really? Something, it's like, yeah, there's, there is, a, you know, that, that has to be ticked. There's something, I don't know. I, I, I feel like the feet are even more important than the fucking face. So like, how long How long did it take? <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. So when you met your current well, girlfriend, how long have you been with her? Uh, fucking hell, but four and a half years, so that. So when you four first on. met her, how long did I it take? I get to see her feet. How long did it take for you to see her feet? Um, fucking hell. What? Did you tell her? We sit- no, 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 no. We were sitting on her sofa. I think we were sitting on her sofa in a house. Yeah. Obviously, she was in her own house, so she was just comfortable. And I think she just had her, her shoes off, and I thought, fuck me, they're all right, so she'll do. 
And do you know what? Like, I think the weird thing is because like we, you and I, it's like we don't have any sexual. There's nothing. Uh, nothing about a foot. That's no. why it's so fascinating to us. Yeah, that's like, why. Oh, it's yeah, not the foot alone. Thing. It's not like it's not like no. I could have a pair of fucking amputated feet in front of me and wank off over it. <laughs> I bet you. I, I, I no. I need like no, I, I need the whole body. Yeah, just like I don't want just an arsehole and like a little tiny yeah. little donut. I just I, I would take that. I would take that. Yeah, you're I appreciate just so you know that you can go to the feet. store. You can go to oh yeah, well, yeah. the, the just store. Buy, just <laughs> you can just go to the store. <laughs> you can go what to the store. store is this? And just buy. You can go to the sex shop and just buy like the hind yeah. quarters. It's just like yeah, the yeah. ass. Yeah, I still, but the thing is, I'd rather. But it's always about what the ass is attached to. Well, of course, but I just mean like in a pinch. You can like James, it. Like, I mean, James doesn't like get a, like a fucking leg out, like a pork leg. I mean, ooh, <laughs> no, but well, okay. Like, I have a scenario. I have, I, have, I have a scenario. I need to know. So. Let's say, Luke, you have, it's been a long time, right? and you have the hindquarters. Right. Do, you, do you have a go at it, or you just, no, it's still not a good, good enough for you? What, what do you mean? Just you have that piece from the, from the sex shop. I, should, my hands, I've, I mean, my hand has got this guy. has a lot of experience. <laughs> okay. okay, so, so uh, James, you wouldn't, like, what if your girl was wearing, like, Long, a long black dress and covered like she was, she was. She's wearing like one of those things from like Afghanistan, like a, a complete burqa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but, right. but you could see her feet. Would that be enough for you? That'd be enough. That'd be enough. Yeah. See, it's, it's, enough. It, it, all it does is just, all it does is just fascinate me. That's you know fascinating. Is, That's right. No, but, but, but but I don't know what it, I think it's because I say this. You, you know, dusk till dawn. You've seen that, Ford. A long time ago. Yeah, the woman in that. I can't remember her name. Fucking hell, really pretty woman. She yeah. does this like sexy dance with um, Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. She fucking sticks her fucking foot in his mouth and pours beer down her leg. And I think I just got obsessed with a nice <laughs> pair of legs and feet back then. I think that's, that's where it well, came how, from. Oh, you watched that movie when you were young and it's stuck in your head. I was, too, oh, man, I was probably about, I was like prime wanking age, probably like <laughs> eight years old. Do you know what I mean? Eight? eight. <laughs> My son yeah. was Eight, fuck it, eight, like I, 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 I started wanking very young. So did I, actually. My my, my wife I says, was, I'm fucked up. I was like nine. Yeah. I was, I, was, I, was, I, was I remember. Like I remember. Fucking no, I, was, I, was actually, I think I had sex before I ever actually wanked properly. This is way too <laughs> much. This is way too much. Did you really? Yeah. Wait a minute. How old were you, you, know, how old were you had sex? 14. And you didn't wank until you had sex? No, I was a pretty late roommate. I didn't like, I was like, I wasn't like, I couldn't go to bed until I was like 27. Was you forced? Huh? Was you forced to have sex? No, I, yeah. <laughs> Uncle, I don't want to. No, it was like, a, <laughs> no, it was, I was like, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't even come the first time. What? I don't think anyone Because I didn't know what I, I did. Know, I did. Like, it was so I weird. Did. The second I time I did, because I was I I, I, like, fucking 30 seconds. I was yeah, like, yeah, 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 the second time it happened. And I think oh, it was, no. I think it might have been the first time I'd ever actually come. And I was Are you like, serious? And I, yeah, weird. It's been in pain. And I, and I just remember being like, whoa, what the fuck was that? I, I was nine when I started. Yeah, I think I'd had wet dreams and stuff, but I was a pretty late bloomer. I was more into like, I, I mean, I don't know. It was weird. Crazy. But then I'm, still fa- I'm still fascinated by the foot thing. I am as well. Seriously. I, don't know why. I think it's... But it's, it's very common. Like, it's really common. I know it is, but I can't like, imagine like a girl wearing like a full burqa and being like, here's my foot. No, I like, can't imagine like... Catching a, catch a yeah. fucking yeah. wake. And I wouldn't, I could, I wouldn't I can't make imagine it that looking way. At a, but I can't imagine looking at a nice pair of feet and being like, well, oh, she's right. <laughs> I've got to think, it's, it's like, but it's not just the foot. It's not just, it's the ankles yeah, and yeah. the fucking calves. Okay, so yeah, I, know, I get it. It's the whole, it's the whole package. It's not just literally just the pattern. Yeah, like, you don't look at a pair of Vibrams and think, oh. So wait a minute. I got a question. So if you're, okay, you know, and you're like, if your wife, if, you're, if your girlfriend is sitting next to you and the girl walks yeah. by with a huge pair of tits, yeah. your, your wife is going to look at you and be like, what are you looking at, right? If <laughs> if if you're sitting there and a girl walks by in a pair of sandals, <laughs> does your wife look at you and go, "Don't look at those feet"? <laughs> My wife don't even know. My missus don't even know that I like feet. She can. Well, she does now. She can fucking podcast. hear you. She can hear you. I know. She's <laughs> telling now. It's just because she's got a very nice pair of feet. So I know. Yeah. He, he, honestly, he talks about her feet a lot. So she doesn't know. So in four and a half years, you've never used her feet. I've never outright said to her, "Look, your feet are gorgeous. Let me have a fucking touch." You should though. Mate. This might like. This might like. But the thing is, if she's like, you might. She I've might got her you. anyway, so she might let you. Get I know that's what I'm saying. I can't believe you haven't used them. No, but I, I just, I, I just like them. Like you know, when you sit down like, on the sofa and you're just chilling with your missus, and like they got their legs on you. I like to like massage for you, all sorts. Really? You know I mean? He's that's good. Probably, yeah, I'd rather that than hold hands. 
my wife would love you. I don't fucking massage shit. Like, fuck That's that. That's what you should be doing. No, nah, I'm like, go pay for an hour of massage with the massage guy. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to fucking do that shit, man. Uh, I can't explain why it is what it is. But it is you give is. your wife massages for real? Not, no, not often. Not often. I'm lazy. Yeah, but the thing is, it's like, if, you're, if, you're, if your wife, if you're, do you like big boobs? Right? Yeah. Yeah. So if your wife was like, oh, give me a boob massage, you'd be like, right. Yeah, but off. she's never, ever, ever said that. I know, that. exactly. But no, but there you go. Do, you understand. Saying, oh, saying the okay, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's like not really, he's doing it more for himself than for her. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I wish she would ask me for a boob massage. I would do that in a heartbeat. Yeah, right? If it was like a glute massage, well, give me that. Give me that bum. Mm. She thinks I'm so weird when I do do the boob massage. Because sometimes I'll just sit there and I go like this, like just for fun. And she's like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, I don't know. It's just fun. The boobs are fun, aren't they? Boobs yeah. are fun. But she thinks I'm retarded. She's like, you know, that's really fucking stupid, right? We, we, we like, I'm a man. They're big fat bangers. I like them. Shush. <laughs> you, yeah. I've never, I've never really been with a bird with massive boobs because I always used to go to gymnasts. So they was what, quite flat chested, actually. Yeah. My wife they had really nice legs. My wife was like 110 pounds when I met her, but she had like mm. a, a fucking F cup. So. Wow. Yeah. So you were, so you were like wedding ring. Here yeah. Right away, I was like marriage done, finished. <laughs> anyway, I'm we've sure she's. I'm, Fuad, we've just found out what Fuad's uh, weakness is, boobs. I thought you knew that all along. I know that we've mentioned it to that extent before. I've never ever hid that in my life. No, I know, it's, but I don't think it's ever come up because you're always more interested in what my stuff is. Because I guess it's more weird. Well, because yeah. I'm always trying to like maintain a level of respect to my wife, so I'm just hoping she doesn't watch. There's, like not, there's nothing wrong with saying my wife has a lovely pair of breasts, and they're all mine because I'm married. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, but we didn't really say it that way, did we? No. I didn't really. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm hoping because this is a two hour long podcast. It's not, it's three. Is it? It's, it's nearly Jeez. three. No, we started at two o'clock. It's so, oh, it is three. Holy shit. I'm hoping <laughs> because it's a three hour long podcast, she's not going to catch the tail end of this. She would not. Probably won't. She, I bet she doesn't. Do you think she wants to listen to her husband and some knob from England yeah. and another <laughs> one? Just like two waffle. I, I guarantee your wife has never listened to a full episode of this. No, but she can probably hear me now. She's upstairs. So Yeah, and what do you think she's doing? Going, oh. No, she don't give a fuck. She yeah, kind of gives a fuck. I, I can't tell too much. Well, yeah, I don't want to know too much because it's gross. It's not gross. It's a bit gross when you... If we weren't it. on air, I would tell you anything. Yeah, it's true. I know lots of stuff about your wife. Yeah. No, you I don't. don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. All right. We've been on for three hours. I got to train at yeah. some point. So, okay. Yeah. I'll... Uh, James, we'll do it again. One-on-one. And Luke, I will catch you next week. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Sorry, guys. But, uh, I think as well, I just want to apologize for over-talking the whole episode as well. What do you mean? You're not over-talking? I definitely have. I feel like I've been, I feel, I feel do you know what it is? You're quite, quite hyper. What? I think it's because I think I had a bit, I had a scoop and a half of Total War earlier. Oh, you must I, have, because usually you're bored out of your fucking tree I by the second hour. I never have it. <laughs> well, I have it like, a... and I was just like, Bleh. Yeah, I've never seen you like this. Usually you're checking your phone and you're fucking like... No, I think that was just once. I think I was knackered. I can't remember why. Because you did a podcast right before Oh, yeah, yeah. That is hard, though. I know. I've done that too. podcast. It's back to back. Because you've done them with me. I've done them, yeah. And you're all just like not as buzzing the second time. I agree. I agree. Okay, go. And go fucking walk off your total war. No, I'm going to go for food and I'm going to go... I'll go for a piss. Okay, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. James, one o'clock tomorrow, yeah? See you tomorrow, mate. See you later, mate. Bye. See you later.